everybody how are we doing today we have some cpi data that came in that the spy is actually really liking if you remember yesterday in the afternoon stream i did get a little strangle on spy one side of those is currently decently in the money amc getting a nice pop right now 29.71 in the pre-market we're looking for that break above 30 today to get a little bit of bullish momentum coming coming back in and then we're also going to be watching Oracle. Oracle had their earnings. They crushed it. So this could be a little bit of an all-time high breakout. So this could be interesting to play. We got GME down here up 2% in the pre-market. Overall, very strong start to the day. I'm going to need SPY to keep going up. Uh, we're looking for that 470 breakout here. Uh, the all-time high on SPY is 473.54. So if we can get that all-time breakout, all-time high breakout, could it be today? Maybe, probably not. The CPI numbers weren't all that good. I don't necessarily know why the market is reacting so positively to it. Maybe they were pricing in for a much greater jump in inflation. Um, so here's what that might tell us. So next week, we have the Fed meeting. Also, it's hot in here. Woo, it's hot. It's hot. It's getting too hot in the kitchen. Shout out to Keenan. Um, might have to turn the air conditioning back on. But next week when we have the Fed meeting, Jerome Powell is going to use these inflation numbers to really base a lot of what he's going to do with the tapering of asset purchases. So that could be why we're getting a little bit of bullish action because if they don't have to taper as much, then they're not going to get to the rate hike sooner. If they can manage inflation, they don't have to speed everything up and just get to these like potential volatile moves in the market in 2022. They can push it off a little bit more. But... Other than that, we have a lot of stuff to talk about this morning. How's everybody feeling? Isn't that going to cause a dip? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It was at like 6.2, I think. I think it was up 0.8. Yeah, 6.8% CPI. So, I mean, I don't know. Market's liking it right now. I don't know why. Like, <laughs> it's liking it. Uh, let me throw the air conditioning back on real quick. It's hot. Could be because I'm drinking a coffee, too. Could be. All right, people. We're watching that Oracle move here. SPY is coming down a little bit. Still at a 0.69% on the day so far. Will AMC break 31 today? That would be sweet if it did. Good morning, Vix. I'm here. I'm here. The Fed and the SEC are corrupt. Yeah. Waiting on that $300 move on AMC. Hey, same here, man. Um, I What the heck was that? That was weird. All right. Anything else you guys want to look at too? We are going to do that. We're going to take a quick look at the Ortex data right now. We have. Let's refresh this real quick. White flash. All right. Estimated short interest, 18.84%. We got utilization, 77.57. Days to cover, 2.34 as of yesterday. So again, putting a lot of pressure on these shorts. <laughs> I'm feeling good today, guys. Feeling good. I'm feeling spicy. Let's let's make some money. I know exactly where I'm going to put the money that I make on SPY is going today. I just want to get in and out with some profit. Hopefully, we can make a lot, throw that into something else, and make it into even more. Hint, hint, probably going to be getting something on AMC for the upcoming potentially huge move. I'm very, very bullish going forward. Yeah, okay. Let's go. I mean, I have a little bit of a rant for you guys too if we want to get into the rant about this division um, and all this basically poop that's been going on. Um, it's a lot of psychology. I'm not a psychology expert, but I know a little bit. So here's basically what's been going on. We, we see this this is a really good example of something very similar to what's been going on in the AMC community. Just think about the state of like people's political opinions in the United States. We're not going to get political in the chat right now, but think about it. When people come out and do something wild on either side, come out with crazy ideas, what happens? The other side gets even more aggressive to counteract it. So maybe it starts small in here. 
but then one of them steps out a little bit more and that makes the other side have to combat it even more. And then it keeps going. Then it keeps going and they keep spreading apart. And they're just literally like one of those monkeys with the symbols just banging together. So when you look at the division that's in the community, here's the thing that I want everybody to really understand. If you watched the video last night about JP Morgan, this situation right here, JP Morgan offers hedge funds a way to dodge meme stock shocks. What are they looking at right here? Uh, where is it? Negative or positive sentiment based on the bank's internal data and scouring of social media forums such as Reddit or Twitter. They're watching us. We know they're watching. We, we, we know they're watching. So if, the, if I, if think about it, put yourself in the, in the short shoes. Like if you see that the ape community is weak, they're dividing, they smell blood in the water. What are they going to do? They're going to come out full force and attack. If you show weakness, they're going to come out and just hammer us because they want to create more fear. So the fact that you have to think about the big picture and stop being so goddamn selfish about what you want to happen or what your idea is. It doesn't matter about you, the individual. It matters the community as a whole. What are you going to do that's best for the community as a whole? We can't have this selfish crap going on anymore. It doesn't work. They're going to see that and they're going to attack us. Like Trey said in his um, in one of his interviews on Fox, that his biggest fear is infiltration. It may not necessarily be infiltration, but it's like the watchdogs. There's people watching. They're going to see. Now, that could be infiltration, um, and they can further the, the division by um, kind of like leading people in, the, in one direction. But it just comes down to being selfish. You can't do that with this. Yeah, it is going to get to the point where it's going to be every man for themselves and you're going to be, have to be selfish with that, with your position. Now is not the time though. It's not the time right now. Hey, Patrick, can we, uh, can we not please? Not giving into it? Yeah, that's the other thing. Not a lot of people are giving into it. It's a small group that is making themselves like very, very loud. And here's the thing. When you hype something up so much that we all know could potentially be good, could, but we also know that the last time that it happened with the NFT dividend, that there were major problems with not only litigation, but how the large banks handled it and they stifled it and they shut it down. You only get one shot at it. But people don't know that. So when you see Adam Aaron then come out and take the other side and be like, we can't do it. Well, people have this idea in their head because they've been fed it from these, I don't even like, from these calls that it's like, this is our saving grace. And this is going to be the one catalyst that sends us to the moon. Could it have been? Yeah. But it would have needed to take so much time. You need to take your time and stop being so selfish. Yeah, Patrick, you're good, buddy. Just don't spam. So that's kind of where I'm at on it. Just like you guys know me. I just stay out of it. Like I just stay away. I'm like, I don't like... Like, it gets to the point, like, if you guys heard me in one of those uh, space calls last night, I was like, that whole situation yesterday got a lot of people worried. It got people worried. And that's the same thing that we were talking about, about how they're watching us. Watching us. If they smell that we're worried, they're going to hammer us. It's psychological warfare. They push the price down to a certain point. For me, I don't care what they try to push it down to. I don't care. Why? Why would I? They're going to they're they're making it worse for themselves when it, the next run up happens. They're making it much worse. It could be even more aggressive. These last two weeks are almost bull. Like they're it's almost like okay, like add more shorts, do your thing. 
put more shorts out there. You're going to have to cover them eventually. And when you do, you can't really get out because the days to cover is so low. All the data that we have, even though Ortex isn't that great at, at reporting a lot of this data because they're getting it from S&P Global, one of those ratings agencies that, I mean, we know are corrupt. It's just wild. So if you see it, try not to engage with it. Um, also, yeah, if you guys don't mind, just dropping some likes on the stream. Uh, it just helps get some more people in here. We're going to be on um, for the full schedule today. We are going to be going till about 1145, 12, and then we're going to come back on at 2. We got a lot of stuff that we're watching today. Let's make some money. We're seeing AMC at 29.49 in the pre-market. The SPY reacted positively to that CPI. Um, we got GME up 1.76. We're watching Oracle to see if it's going to get a little bit of a breakout. We'll see if we can get a little continuation play on it. Maybe. But right now, I'm going to see how this spy strangle goes at market open, see if I can suck some money out of that and put it into something that I really want. I have a couple of good ideas of what I'm about to do. Good morning, Vix. Ho ho! What's up, Keenan? How you doing, man? Keenan, if you got some time right now, if you're not uh, hopping on your stream this morning, I'll uh, shoot you the link. But I know you're about to hop on. If you want to come on real quick and say hi to the people, you are always welcome to come on. Also, Keenan, I'm going to start trying to do um, Sunday night live streams and get a bunch of uh, guests on. I'm not sure if I can start it this week because I do have it like next week is my finals week. So, I mean, technically I should do some schoolwork, um, but definitely the week after um, we could try to set something up if you're free. If not, then eventually we'll we'll get it going. Let's see. All right, people. Out to hop on, brush my teeth. Down to jump on soon, let me know. All right, awesome, man. I did shoot you the link, so if you do want to pop on for a minute, say hi, you can. But I know, I know you got to hop on too, buddy. Uh, hope you have a great stream, man. What would you say if he created more shares to dilute AMC even more? It doesn't matter because he can't do that without our approval, shareholder approval. There's only 46,000 shares left. So if he wants to offer those, by all means, do it. Not going to make very much money off of those unless we run to really high levels. But he would need shareholder approval, which is us. Good morning, all. STV. What's up, Sam? How you doing, man? Hit the like for VIX. Thank you, Keenan. I appreciate it, my man. Let's see. All right, people. AMC up 0.14. The spy strangles looking decent. Going to need a little bit of a pop at market open to really get it going. GME coming down a little bit in the pre-market. Looking for that Oracle. Um, Oracle would have been a nice earnings play. I was looking at Lulu, though. Lulu was a dud. What's up, North Carolina? How you doing, my man? Guys, my voice is better today. I'm hyped up. Got some coffee in me. We got my liquid IV here. We're ready to go. I need to write. I need to go with the. I need to get a new gallon and write hedgy tears on it. That's what we need to do. Because this one, I can't. Especially now with the price action, I can't like show you what's on it. Because it was when TMI and I were starting the fake drama on Twitter. Keenan does have the best energy. Need to do a collaboration with all Ape AMC YouTubers. Yeah, we could do that. The last one we did with uh, me, Keenan, TMI, and Trey, that was a good one. That was a real good one. Let's see if we can get one of those set up again. And I want to get some new people on there too that, that not a lot of people have, have heard about that I think deserve a lot of exposure. Um, let's see. You, Trey, Matt. Yeah, I, I, I definitely want to try to get Matt on too. Keenan and STV's energy is comparable. I don't know. I don't know. Keenan, Keenan gets up there in terms of the energy. Sometimes I got it this week. This week I've been pretty sick. So, I'm, I mean, I'm good now. The voice is coming back. 
We've hit some dirty trades this week. We're trying to continue it. Throw that money into some into some more plays that really could get going. So we'll see. We'll see. Claybro, yeah, we can get Claybro back on. Squeeze is imminent. It's obvious we're right there. Yeah, and the thing going on with Charles Payne right now. Uh, he cannot get into his Twitter account. I have not seen anything else about that. US Jeff Forbes says US inflation sitting at 39 year high. Stock market goes burr. Yeah, trade spotting. We got to get trade spotting back on. It's going to be a fun winter break of all of these joint streams that I'm going to try to set up. All right, people, here we go. Here we go. We got about 30 minutes till the market opens. We got SPY coming up about 0.73%. Let's see if we can get that 470 breakout. We broke 470 in the pre-market. All-time high is sitting at about 473.54. If we get up to that today, I'm going to be a very, very happy VIX. Do I think we can? It's possible. You never know what's going to happen with SPY. Why hasn't he mentioned that on Fox? I haven't seen. Uh, yo, SCV got my girlfriend with me this morning. Can you do your wrench capital impression? Oh, God. I would love to get wrench on, too. What's up, guys? Welcome back to wrench capital. See, when you hear my videos, like previously, you would have been like, this kid can never do, like, never do a wrench impression. But now, like, now you guys have seen it a few times and I got it in me. I can do it. Mike V, what's going on, man? Just got Jamie to go on a rant. Oh, it's Jamie. Oh, I love those. The most recent one that Pam triggered was awesome. There's another one that I like. I used to listen to just like on repeat. I listen to all of them all the time. Like I try to save them so I have them forever because they're gold. They're absolutely gold. Jeff Forbes, absolutely. Good morning, Kev. How you doing, my man? All right, spy coming up. Oh, here we go, people. Mass gang, what's going on, people? 98 likes, 280 people. Really smash the like. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it. Hello, STV. How are you? Says Sebastian. I'm doing good today, man. I feel a lot better. I'm getting slowly better every day. Um, the voice, a lot better today, so we should be good. Didn't really sleep a lot last night. I mean, I was just waking myself up, just randomly coughing, but. Other than that, doing very good. Probably going to sleep in tomorrow a little bit. Also, guys, tomorrow is haircut day. Let's get every YouTube AMC ape on a live stream once a week. Uh, we could. Everybody's got super busy schedules, though, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to do that. Um, but we could try. We could try. STV sounding like his old self. Hey, I'm trying. I'm trying, man. Good morning, kiddo. What's up, Orchid Lover? How you guys doing? Short the here we go, Vix. Here we go. Oh, boy. It's getting exciting. AMC under 30. Screw you, hedgies. You can't keep it down here for long. Short the hair. I mean, the hair is going to be a lot shorter. Do you think Prog being at 214 is a good entry? I mean, I think it's decent. Um, as long as you don't sing the song. Matt's synthetic girlfriend hates when I sing the song. Ham, what's up, man? Ham, I got a little spy strangle right now that's looking really good in the pre-market. Let's see what happens. I don't know if I'm going to actually trade spy today because I already have a play on it. I'm hoping to get that continuation off of it, and it just goes nuclear today. Um, so I'll YOLO a little bit. If not, I'm still going to get the other plays that I want because I'm super, super, super bullish right now. You keep saying that? On I keep saying what? The hair looks absolutely stunning this morning. Geo, that's why you're my favorite. I have the opposite problem of you. You jump out of calls too early and I diamond hit them too long. My $35 call for AMC this week should have sold on Wednesday. Yeah. Hey, that's, I mean, that's like me and my dad. My dad holds stuff. Here's a funny story. Um, the first giant earnings play that I hit, my dad and I were in on BJ's, um, like the wholesale club, like Costco in early, uh, like mid 2020. Um, it was a 1,600% gain, and he was up a wild amount, and he was like, I'm just going to hold it. Um, I sold, took a really nice gain, and his contracts expired worthless. And I was like, dude, I come on. What are we doing here? Good morning, SCB. You never mentioned me. Joan, I always mention you. It's Joan, right? 
It's got to be Joan. It's got to be. Did he say BJ's? Yes, I did. BJ's Wholesale Club. Maybe your haircut would be the catalyst we need for the run-up. Hey, man. I oof. Uh, Steve, thank you for the super. I appreciate it, man. Biden's top secret service agent Cho to join hedge fund Citadel. I feel a cover up is coming. Uh, or he just feels like he needs protection. Oh, what's up, mask gang? What's up, beach guy? Yeah, for all you guys new coming into the stream, make sure you guys drop some like likes on the stream. Helps us get some more people in here. I'm pumped today. I am pumped up. Let's have some fun. I'm gonna need a little bit of liquid IV though coffee's getting to me i like to yolo too much hey i mean sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't oh there's my watch i guess that's what happens when you come home to your apartment and you've been drinking and you just put stuff in random places not recently that was last weekend i honestly haven't been going out that much does it it's not the same anymore it's not the same. I've done a couple of things like this year that like give me a taste of like what it feels like to really like have fun. Um, so like going out at school is like, man. Did you hear shorts haven't covered? I, I think I have heard that one. I've, I've heard that one. The shorts have not covered. I love that. Good morning. Did I miss inflation result numbers? Yeah. Uh, so it's at 6.8, I believe. Um, Spy's liking it so far. We're looking for that 470 breakout and Oracle. I don't know. If Oracle gets going today on a little continuation, I mean, we could play some puts if it's going to come down, um, which is very possible. But if the overall market's going to go, I think people could get real excited about Oracle. I mean, this is an all-time high breakout right now. Like previous all-time high on Oracle was this year. Wow, we – oh, no, we're good. This year at 90, 99? Yeah, 99. Let me see year to date. Yeah, 98, 95, I believe, or in the 99 range. So this is an all-time high breakout on earnings. That could be dangerous. Got puts on DWAC and fun. All right. Inflation go brr. Yeah, people are... Uh, what? Can I take a look at Prague? Absolutely, my man. How are they doing in the pre-market? I still have those long... Long prog calls. Not going to do anything with them. They have so much time. They're down, like, her not horrendously, but they're down. Um, I didn't put that much money into them, though. Like, I'm playing it like, a oh, hopefully it runs, like, SBRT or BBIG or one of these other wild plays that we've seen. But who knows? Who knows what will happen? Google has AMC at negative 9.8. Thoughts? Uh, glitch. If you like playing Spy, you might like playing it a lot more soon. Uh-oh, Geo. Geo's got some, got some insight. That's not what we want. O R C L. We got Oracle. Oracle absolutely crushing it pre market. Uh, Amy up half a percent, twenty nine sixty. We got about twenty two minutes till the market opens. Spy come down a little bit. We got GME coming up two point oh four percent in the pre market. Here we go. Do you think Evergrande will pressure margin calls if U.S. hedge funds were invested and use this as collateral to short? Yes, I, I've read that article. I have not seen any proof. Be very, very careful with those LinkedIn articles. They may not be exactly what you think. Um, just careful with them. It kind of goes against a lot of like my whole philosophy on the financial system. It's like it's regurgitating things that we already know as like confirmation bias. So just be careful or things that we've speculated on. Um, it's possible that they were using those bonds as collateral, but recently they've been downgrade, downgrade, downgrade. So they've been getting haircuts. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm not rich. I only bet what I think I can lose. Caleb, that's a great way to do it. The summer is about to be lit with or without the squeeze, says number letters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Spy 469.54. I'm going to need you at 470, my man. Yeah, check out Boss Blunt's DD on the Evergreen situation. It's pretty in-depth. I've, I've seen some of it. Um, I'd have to look more into the situation. I don't really want to give a full opinion right now because I don't want to piss anybody off because sometimes i'm just wrong on things uh i do like boss blunt's dd though can we get an ortex update on amc of course we can 
18.84% estimated short interest. Utilization, 77.57. Let's get that above 80 next week. Days to cover, 2.34. Looking solid. Amy, 29.61. Spy coming down a little bit. Coming down to that 50. See if we get a little bounce. Comes back up. Going into pre-market or uh, going into market open. That would be sweet. The enemy is good at hedging. Don't expect anything to go our way from any one thing. Exactly. Uh, it's not going to be any one thing that's going to really set it off. Oh, my back hurts. STV asked. No, I'm not doing that. Why would I do that? Chipotle running? Ho, ho, ho. I really should own Chipotle for how much I love it. Like, I really should. What's up with NU? I don't know. What's NU? New Holdings. Uh, what is this? Financial Services Market in Latin America. I don't know what this is. I don't know. That seems a little risky. All right. I hate when it does this in the morning. The first time it does this, it always messes up. But then we're good. GME. Buying PS5s with all the guap I got from GameStop. When will the game stop? Probably never. These hedgies want to see us suffer. That's Apes Hungry. That's a great song. That's like what TMI sometimes uses in his intro. Really good song. CPI. Yeah. Chipotle give you the runs. And not when you get used to it and eat it all the time. Hope your bio lab went well yesterday. Uh, it didn't. It was miserable and very, very boring. Amy. Amy, we're going to need to see you above 30 at some point today. Spy popping back up, bouncing off that 50. Very good sign to see. Let's see that MACD cross going into pre-market and get some bullish action, huh? Oh, it just IPO'd. Interesting. DD is leaving from the New York Stock Exchange to go into the Hong Kong Exchange. Would you still hold it? Uh, no, it's delisting. That's not good. But do whatever you want. Uh, what's going on in the Twitterverse? I made Trey angry. Not sure if this was just said. Yeah, we did it earlier. It's just all the BS surrounding like the division around the NFT dividend and the people that are involved on on a couple of the sides. It's just useless noise. And it's a lot of people being selfish, trying to force their narrative and force the squeeze too early. That's really what it is. We run from 2 to 25 without all of this stuff. We run from 10 to 14 uh, to 77 without it. And we can easily run again without any of that stuff. So I'm not worried. 29.55, spy coming up. How's that strangle doing? I mean, it's good. I think I, I have the, I have the uh, 469s and the... 463s so i had the 469 calls 463 puts i'm gonna need i think i'm gonna need a little bit more on spy for it to really get going youtube's not showing my live that's rude that's super rude of youtube youtube honestly has been playing recently their analytics page has been messed up they've been doing some weird stuff i don't know what it is with them but they're going to need to fix themselves really quickly. Like they're delayed on a bunch of stuff by like three or four days, which I don't like. It's like, it's, it's nerve wracking. Cause they're, it's like, well, hold on. What are you doing here? Uh, what's the difference between uh, MA and EMA? How do you read those data? I mean, what I use the EMA for is if, if, if the price is trading above and I get buy indications, I'll take calls. But if the price is trading above it and I get a sell indicator, I'm not taking puts. It's just a good idea of a trend on, on where to take it. For the, these moving averages over here, I use it as like the range. Um, so like VWAP 50 and 100, if it stays within this range, I'm not doing much with it. If it breaks up, up above or below these, then I start to make decisions. That's how I use them. YouTube hasn't shown me when you're live in months. I never get notifications for you or TMI. Yeah, guys, make sure you guys turn on those bell notifications too. YouTube, I guess, is playing right now, which is annoying. And people have been saying they've been ran getting randomly unsubbed. Like, I've been seeing it too. Like, all, like, here's another one. 
when I hit 70,000 subscribers, right as I hit 70,000, the number just dropped by like 12. And I was like, I don't think 12 people in five seconds just like just unsub for my channel. I don't think that's how that works. It's possible. Uh, Ryan Sinclair, thanks for the super. If people don't have a law degree, then keep quiet on the whole NFT. I would agree with that. Calls on AMD. There you go. Vix needs 100K, says Caleb. That would be sweet. We'll do a massive giveaway. Or like We'll do like a one to $5,000 giveaway of like AMC gift cards when we hit 100K. Because you guys have gotten me to where I am. So we'll do a, like a big one. And the AMC gift cards will all be like, like if we do like one to like, we'll do like a hundred to two hundred dollars of gift cards every time per per one. Seventy thousand is a strong level of resistance on your channel. I guess so. How are shares being traded before the market opens pre market? I mean, the market technically is open on on pre market. Like I can trade pre market right now on on some of these brokerage platforms. All right, spy doing its thing here. Had the bell rung for you since I started following you. It's YouTube. Man. Morning, buddy. You've made these last few weeks much more enjoyable. Thank you. Uh, is C-Pain back on? Very sus that he's silenced at the critical point we are at now. So close can smell the lemon pepper tendies. Yeah, it could. It, it, I mean, it's weird. Uh, YouTube went full. So they're redistributing your subscribers. I don't know. Spy calls. Yeah. Also, if you guys don't mind, just dropping some likes on the stream just helps get some more people in here. Um, you guys have been showing some crazy support recently. And I thank you guys so much. All right. GME up 2% in the pre market. Amy up 0.31 at 2955. Spy just broke down below that 50. I don't know. Let's see what happens with Spy today. Want to meet up in Southington AMC Thursday? I have an extra NFT ticket. I, I can't. I have uh, uh next uh, next week's my finals week. I would though. Pain Twitter is up for me. Yeah, Charles Payne's uh Twitter is up, but he can't get into it. That's what's going on there. He just can't get into it. Cheers. Y'all feeling good, says Clay. There we go, my man. There we go. All right. We got about 13 minutes to, or yeah, 13 minutes till the market opens. Let's have some fun today, people. Uh, short interest on Prague. Yeah. Uh, bu, 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 bu. all right. What? There it is. There we go. Now it's back up. Okay. So this is what we were expecting to happen on Prague. A big jump in short, uh, estimated short interest. So it was at like 11, a couple of days ago. Now it's back up to 21.93 with the price action that we've been seeing. Utilization still very, very high. Cost to borrow pretty high. Prague is looking like the data is coming back in its favor. Uh, I'm a freshman finance major, but can't take any of my major related classes until junior year. Yeah, that's kind of how it works. It's it's stupid. You're also not going to learn a whole lot. Just going to put that out there right now. Uh, did you end up buying Lulu calls? No. Like I'm a finance major too, and I've learned like basically nothing. It's a lot easier to watch your live than most of the others. I like your style, kid. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. All right. We're looking for that Oracle breakout. We're looking for Spy to get going here. Let's see. GME just barcoding into pre into market open. Prague is looking juicy for a bounce. Yeah. Prague's looking good again in terms it's not an accident, it's malicious. Yeah, I'm a welder. I just learn as I go. There you go, Caleb. Spy. Come on now. We want that 470 breakout today. Uh, so we're at 19% short interest, but why can't we get back up to the 90 to 100% utilization? Well, it's it's very possible that institutions or a lot of people um, have shares in margin accounts. So the amount of shares that insti like like these institutions, like any of them, Interactive Brokers, um, Goldman, any of these institutions, the amount of shares that they're willing to lend out is much higher than it was before. Um 
but the amount of shares sold short in the market is almost at the highs. So like we've seen higher utilization at lower number at lower short interest numbers. So somehow they're getting their hands on more shares to lend. Are they loaning them out yet? Eh, some of them, but not all of them. What's up, SCV? I talked my dad into opening a stock account for the first uh, and for in the first one he wants is Roblox. Can you tell me what price you think is a good line of support for him to buy in at? STV TLT going up with a spy too. Watch out, Ryan. That was not what I wanted to hear. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to hear. All right, Roblox. Okay, so I mean it's up decent in the pre-market. I mean, it's at the lows, I think. Now the thing is is that if you're gonna invest for like the long term, five, ten years and you think the stock is going to go up, it doesn't necessarily matter where you're buying it at. Right now, Roblox is kind of sold off. Does it have a little bit more room to fall? Yeah, if it's going to come down to a couple of these averages, well, that's at 95. But I'd say like it could easily, like after next week, we could start to see a lot of bullishness in the market if the Fed speeding up the taper, the speeding up of it is less than they expect, like the market expects. So that could be, I mean, and then everything could just get going. So, I mean, it, you almost just want a dollar cost average when you're when you're getting into like a long term investment. So you put in some money now, you wait a while, maybe it goes up higher, then you get some more, or you can just set up like an automatic deposit every month and be like, I'm gonna throw I don't know 500 bucks a month, and I'm gonna spread it out. Doesn't necessarily matter. I'll allocate it the way I want, and you just go from there. Because over the long term, you're going to be able to get a decent average price. Ooh, Oracle, hold on. Wait, that's not. Yeah, Oracle's still doing great. All right, Amy, a 0.14 spike. What's TLT doing? If TLT's ripping, I'm going to be really not happy with God, TLT. You're right, Ryan. You're right, buddy. Thanks, man. You the best anytime, my man. Uh, Who do you think will get obliterated first during the squeeze, Melvin or Robin Hood? Um, I don't know. Probably the smaller, smaller fish get stopped out first. Um, CT in the building. What's up, Benjamin? Yeah. So the thing about when we start to squeeze this JP Morgan thing is literally, it literally could be the best Trojan horse in that sets up a positive feedback loop or a self-fulfilling prophecy. Because here's the thing. If the data flow and the retail flows and the sentiment starts to go up and the institutions expect a big move to happen in AMC and GameStop or any of these other meme stocks here, well, what are they going to do? Well, they're just going to cover before so they don't lose more money. So it may not even matter that the stock may or may not actually be about to go up, but the data feed is going to tell them that it is. So then they start covering and they set it off. So that's going to be something we need to watch. Oracle is getting some action here. We might might be able to play that uh, all-time high breakout if they're going to get going. But SPY chilling right around 469.51. TLT coming down here. I don't know. Let's see what happens when the market opens with SPY. We got seven minutes. Uh, Eric, I did check Prague. Prague was up a little bit in the pre-market. I don't know. I like Oracle today. Yeah, uh, Prague's up 1.97% in the pre-market. I don't know. Maybe I'd get some Oracle next week's. We'll see. I mean, I'm about to start making some moves today. That's what we're going to be doing. Risk it for the biscuit. All right. What do we want down here? We want TLT for now. Uh, coming down a little bit. All right. We had 1 billion in volume in January with no shorts covering. Well, I mean, they did. They just lying to us. Some of them did. A lot of them didn't. They just kicked the can with like they just uh, they they use the derivatives market to mess around. All right, spy four sixty nine fifty two, TLT coming down. All right, what are actual yields doing? All right, max pain for this week. Thirty one. So watch thirty one today, guys. If we get up there, what strike on Oracle? I have no idea yet. It's got to confirm a direction. I mean, right now it's ripping. Um and you uh, the the contracts on Oracle are gonna massively inflate when the market opens. So I'm going to have to wait 15 minutes anyway to really see where they settle in because the premiums right away are just going to go through the roof. Spy coming back up. TLT staying flat. All right. I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to play Oracle. We'll, we'll see if it gives us something. Ho-ho, what's up? M. Kriegs, morning at work, trying to listen. What's going on? 
Not much. I mean, right now the spy strangles looking all right. That I that when you sent me that market recap, I didn't know CPI was coming out today, and I was like, oh, we're gonna move on CPI, which we're moving a little bit right now, only up 0.7 though. Um, so I was expecting a big move up or down. We're getting a decent move up. I mean, the contract's in the money right now. Is it going to be enough to really counteract the loss on the put? Uh, I don't know yet. We'll see. DKS, isn't that dicks? I think that's dicks. All right, people. Amy, 29.54, up 0.24%. TLT not doing anything. Ryan, so TLT is going to do its thing in the pre-market. The volume is going to be super low. Like you can see here, these candles are just nothing. They're nothing candles. Um, Oracle up basically 14. Let's see what happens there. Does Loop Ring and GME's announcement start to squeeze? It could. Max Payne on GME? Yeah, I'll take a look. GME's is going to be a little bit different because the contracts are still really expensive every week. Uh, GME's Max Payne is 175. There's like zero put open interest. Like, not a lot. It's all calls. Jeez, look at this. Look at this. Red is puts. This yellow-orange thing is calls. Let's call it beige. There's, like, no puts on it. It's a lot of calls, though. All right, spy moving back down a little, little bit. Let's see what happens when the market opens. CPI met estimates according to Reuters. Yeah, that's, that's kind of why we're getting there. How come Webull... Has so much AMC shares and no one points it out. Uh, and the new ETF meme affect AMC. I'm not sure what you're talking about there. My wife's boyfriend. I love that saying too. It's so funny. Your wife's boyfriend. Jimmy's about to blow today. Might see 200 plus. I'd love to see that. I want to see us back at the danger zone of 250. See what happens. All right. Spy coming down. Looks like it's going to touch VWAP. Let's see. MACD. Uh. Oh. That one came out of nowhere. <clears throat> that one snuck up on me. Oh, Oracle going. <clears throat> that sneeze came out of nowhere. Vine is spicy this morning. I did see that. Bless you. Thank you, Justin. Spy bounce off VWAP. I mean, it probably will. Uh, but it's, remember, it's trapped in the range right now. We need to see it break above this range. Use it as Oracle. Just look at this. Look at this thing. This is this could be fun today. I mean, the premiums might be jacked. They might have ran the chain. <clears throat> if you the strangle on Oracle, the earnings strategy would have printed. It would have been like a two. I'm I'm thinking it would have been two thousand percent if we played Oracle. Um, but once earnings season comes back in full swing, we're gonna really go for it, and that'll be fun. Sweet air, family games. Thanks. Would that be considered coiling? On what? AMC coming down to VWAP here, down a little bit. I mean, Oracle's just saying, screw it, we're going up. TLT up. TLT 150. Uh-oh. Ruh-roh. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Vine. M. Krieg. Oh, boy. M. Kriegs. It's at 152 in the pre-market. Up 10%. You're going to crank on those calls. I know I should have went to see the Oracle with Neo. Yeah. Uh, M. Kriegs, it is selling off a little bit in the pre-market. It hit a high of 234. Um, so it could be one of those days where the pre-market makes the most of the move, and then it just bleeds the rest of the day, um, especially with the, the market doing what it's doing. I mean, some of these biotech plays that you pull up just don't care about the overall market, and they just go. All right. TLT. I mean, 150 on TLT will be... Interesting. All right, let's get Oracle back up here. Or All right, we got one minute till the market opens. Let's see what happens, people. Right away, we're going to be watching AMC and SPY. We're going to see how Oracle does over here. Uh, we'll, we'll keep putting back up GME. Um, but let's see. This could be a nice breakout play, a little continuation. I'll probably either go for a little tiny play on the daily if I'm really feeling YOLO-y, um, but I'll probably go for the next week's if I need to. All right, Amy getting a little bit of a boom boom here, a 0.24% in the pre-market spy coming up a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. AMD looks like it wants to play. Uh-oh. Ooh, Oracle is really going right now. Uh, how's AMD doing in the pre-market? Ooh, AMD looking all right. 
Jeez. All right. Watch this. I will honestly probably play a strangle on Oracle if I do. All right. Market open. Ding, ding, ding. Here we go. Spy. 469.30. Amy down a little, little bit. Spy trying to come back up. Oracle. Let's check the. I'm um, probably going to have to check the premiums on my phone. I won't update quick enough. All right. Here we go, everybody. Ding, ding, ding. <clears throat> Oracle absolutely going nuclear right now. Ooh, it hasn't updated yet. Options chain has not updated. Spy looking like it wants to get a little bullish today. All right, Amy, a little bit in the red here. AMD selling off a decent amount. Oracle holding up nicely at market open, not seeing a whole lot of volatility right now. Um, let's see how this spy strangle is doing. Um, not doing great right now. I mean, it's, the strangle is down $13, $14. So we're going to need to see a lot more <clears throat> on SPY in order for that strangle to work. If not, I'll just take the money back. And all right, Oracle is absolutely going nuclear. Here we go. All right, the, Jesus. What is going on here? All right, we'll play a daily on it. We'll play a daily on it. We'll see if we can snipe something on the chain. All right, I want this one. Hold on. How's it looking? All right. Spy coming down a little bit here. Amy back in the green. Here we go. <clears throat> What's TLT up to? Oops. I almost knocked over my coffee. TLT is up. All right, Oracle. I don't know. I mean, it's early. It's super early. Let's see what happens. Shark the VIX to the moon. Yeah. If the red hurts you, don't look. No, it's fine. Mm. All right. We'll wait on Oracle a little bit. Let's get a let's get GME up here. I mean, I'll tell you what the premiums are up on Oracle. Uh five thousand percent today. So <clears throat> careful. Careful, careful, careful. All right, the strangle is not doing so hot. Let's see if we get a pick a direction on the spy. <clears throat> AMC right around 29. GME at, oh, it's up 2.14, 159.64. Here we go, GME. There we go. Come on, spy. Do your thing, buddy. Where's the docu screen? Oh, Ryan, TLT coming down. This could be good. What's docu doing? Docu, here we go. Here we go, Doc. You getting a little action here. Spy getting a little action. Come on, Amy. Let's get back up here. Let's get in the green, huh? Let's cross that 30 today. All righty. All righty, Spy. Let's get that 470 breakout, huh? Good morning, STV. Hanging with you guys this morning. LFG. Yes, sir. Lots of fun about AA selling more shares. Any validity to that? I mean, we knew he was going to do it, so he told us and the exact reasoning behind it. So I don't think there's anything really to be worried about. And people, regardless, are going to be like, why is he selling shares? It's like, well, he has to. He, he, it's part of his estate planning. Leave the man alone. He's still going to have a wildly high amount of shares. Um, and people are saying the CFO sold 100% of his shares. 100% of the shares maybe that he's holding like right now, but he, he has like a lot more that are coming. Like It's not like he's never going to hold AMC shares. And Adam Aaron has required them to hold a certain percentage um, of, of uh, like a dollar amount of shares. So, I mean, there's nothing really to be worried about over there. Amy getting a little bit of selling volume right here, down 2%. Um, Spy is looking like it wants to make a move. DocuSign is absolutely trying to get back up here. Here we go. 75% of salary in shares. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All righty. All right. If Spy breaks this, ooh, it's getting interesting here. Looking for that 470 breakout. Amy trying to come back above 29. Here we go. GME is up 1.72. How's Oracle doing right now? Oracle getting a little pop here. I don't know. I might burn that one and leave it alone. It's fun to watch, though. Ooh, Spy getting some action. All right, Doc, you doing good. How's TLT? TLT should be selling off here. Yeah, all right. This is looking good, people. 
Uh, Charles Schwab tweet. No, I have not. Oh, stop by trade sloshing tonight. I will do that. I do have to. Um, all right, the strangle is now up. Not a lot, but it is up. If we start to get going on spy, it could really, really print. So let's see. <clears throat> Vix Docky 180 by Monday, and I'm out this time. I won't diamond hit. All right. Appreciate I appreciate you too, Eric. Yeah, CFO didn't sell all the shares. Like people were trying to spread that. Ooh, Amy getting some selling volume here. Spy, spy <clears throat> coming down a little, little bit. Oracle coming down. Where's uh I mean TLT still coming down. So let's see what happens here. But um <laughs> let's pull up Docky real quick. Docky was getting some action. Docky coming down, spy coming down, Amy coming down. Let's see, GME. Uh up 1.27 still. Here we go. Good morning. What's up, Shelly? Yeah, he sold all the shares which are allocated to the 10B5. Exactly. Appreciate you. I appreciate you too, Eric. Thank you, my man. All right, Amy down about 2.6 right now. Uh, but again, remember, it's six minutes into the market, um, and we typically see s s these sell-offs happen. So nothing really to be all that worried about in my opinion for the start of the day today um actually this would be a great time for what i wanted to do what are these i want one of these actually i kind of want what are these right here i want three of these all right spy coming back up there we go all right i want Four of these, actually. We're going to leave that there. Spy. Come on now, buddy. All right. Jimmy selling off a little, little, little bit. All right, people. Here we go. Everyone calls AMC Amy. Yeah. Thanks for the prog lookup. Eric, anytime, guy. Anytime, my man. I don't know why I said guy. That was weird. Sorry. That was weird. All right. It's probably looking to have some fun. All right. All right. What's this strangle doing? Absolutely nothing right now. Come on, pick a direction here and just start to go to the upside. That's what we need. We want that 470 breakout. That's what we're looking for. Amy selling off here still. All righty. Hit the like, says Mark. Thank you, man. Perfect time to grab those YOLO calls. There you go, Ham. There you go, my man. All right. Oh, my spy strangle is up $3 now. Nice. I'm rich. <laughs> $5, $6, I'll oh, back down to $4. <laughs> yeah, Amy is selling off a little bit here. But again, you want to short it more right here at Market Open on a Friday? Go for it. By all means. You're just making it worse for yourself when we eventually end up going on that move mission. So I am not worried one bit. Just bought 474 calls on Spy Friday YOLO. Jason, that's wild. That is wild behavior out of you. I hope it works. If that does hit, my Spy Strangle is going to go nuclear. Ooh, Spy's looking like it wants to have some fun here. Here we go. We're looking for that 470 breakout. We're at 469.84. AMC is at 28.15. Um, Docu coming up. GME coming up too, up 1.7. Looking like the market wants to get some bullish action here. Here we go. All righty. Um, nice. Spy Strangle doing, I mean, all right. It's not like the best thing in the world. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 470 breakout incoming. There it is. It could erupt. It could erupt here. Amy coming back up. GME trying. Docu trying. All right. Spy 470 breakout. Here we go. All time high at... 473.54. Let's see if it can really start to get going today. All 
It's not an actual treat, tweet from Charles Schwab. It's a screenshot that's been tweeted of the Charles Schwab website. It says they have adjusted margin requirements on AMC. Long Jericho, uh, please send me that on my Twitter DM. Um, I'd love to take a look at that because those are interesting. All right. Spy doing its thing here. Amy coming back up. Man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. All right. How's Oracle doing? Put that. If they're at 107, I'm going to be. Yeah, Oracle selling off. I mean, it doesn't look like they're going to get that continuation right now. They could, though. Ortex on AMC, please. Yeah, absolutely. Let me just get it up here. All righty. Uh, 18.84% uh, at the current time. Nothing too crazy going on in the securities lending market today. I mean, let me refresh this to see if there's anything else. But yeah, nothing too crazy going on. AMC bouncing. Spy coming back down a little, little bit. But Amy is getting a little bit of action here. All right, I'll hold the strangle for a little bit. But I might just take the money back and, and do something more interesting. Seems like every time they talk about AMC on CNBC, they drop the price. They were just talking about AMC. Yeah, I mean, sometimes we get CNBC pumps uh, where, like, they'll talk about something and then it'll just really start to get going. But, all right, SPY coming back down into this range. Uh, Docu coming down. What's TLT up to? TLT just break 150? Nope. I mean, it's still coming down. So, let's see. Just bought a call for January during the dip with unsettled funds. How bad is the good faith violation if I sell today? Okay, so what will happen with the good faith violation? Your first violation... I'm 99% sure they will just no longer allow you to buy with unsettled funds. They'll just be like, hey, we saw you do this. Now we're not going to let you enter this trade. Um, the second time, I believe you get restricted. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't do that. And it's also options. So, I mean, just, I mean, it's a January call. Just. <coughs> It's like PDT for cash accounts. That's like the equivalent. What's this strangle doing? Down 20 bucks. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Oh, we got a bunch of people in here. What's up, guys? How are we doing? Um, You just sent it to me? Okay, let's take a look. I don't know if it's new because these come out a lot. Charles Schwab. What's the date on this, though? Okay, I've seen this. Oh, this is new. Okay, because D-Wax mentioned. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. All right, look at this. Okay, so this is new because d is listed, and I have not seen d listed on any one of these margin requirements. So stock, 100% margin requirement for long positions, meaning that essentially margin is useless because you'd have to put up 100% of the value of collateral in order to lever up. Um for sh uh, shorting, you would need to put up double. So if you want to short $100 worth of, of the stock, <coughs> you got to put up $200 or two or $300 worth of collateral. Uh, long calls, long puts, and covered calls are permitted. Selling short puts is permitted. So cash secured puts. Naked calls is permitted if you have available funds for increased requirements. So they're allowing naked calls still. Interesting. Okay. 300% on GME. Oh, ho, ho. All right. Let's see what happens with this strangle here. All right. Spy's trying to move back up here, but. Yeah, this, this spy strangle is only down 30 bucks right now. 29 bucks. So right now I'm going to, I'm going to need a breakout of, of, of 470 to really get it going but i don't think it's gonna be that crazy today so i might just take it and run gme selling off here now down 1.77 amy down six see here's what i was saying they smelled blood in the water because of all of this bs going on and now we're selling off it's gonna make it worse for them going going forward but they're smelling the blood in the water guys I mean, the market is is kind of showing a little bit of weakness right now. It's not really able to to really pop back up, but
have my finger on the trigger for what might be my last 75 shares. Bought, hitting a milestone I never thought I'd get to, and I think we rip next week. I think we could easily rip next week. I mean, remember, guys, when we see these stupid dips below 30, they don't last for very long. TLT coming up a little bit here. GME selling a pretty decent amount right in the, right here. Uh, it's getting close. They want to shake us off. A dying animal is a dangerous animal. Yep. Repeat of last Friday, $4 run-up in the last hour. It could be. Could be. I mean, we are selling right now for literally no reason. What's the reason for this sell-off? I would say nothing. Spy selling off right here, too. Spy strangle is down about 80. Oh, no, down 60 right now. I mean, when it comes down, the puts are going to start gaining in value. So, I mean, this is just not too much going on here. I mean, I think I might just, I might just take it back. All right, Amy, 26.80, or basically right around 27. TLT coming up here. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, little bounce here, huh? 27.18. All righty. Didn't come this far for this. Exactly. This is nothing, guys. We've all seen this before. 100% Rhode Island. Red days are where we buy and make money when it bounces green. I love red days, says Mike Tyson. There you go, my man. 1.4% turnover. Nobody's selling. Yeah. Let's check Ortex. I mean, we might get some dirty Ortex updates again. You want to keep shorting it? Go for it. I mean, nothing right here is showing up in the securities lending market on Ortex. So they're just messing with it. TLT coming up. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Ha, ha, ha. All right. All right. Yeah, Spy Strangle not doing a whole lot here. I'm probably just going to ditch it. I'll probably ditch the call side of it right now. What do we add on 468? How much do I have here? Yeah, I kind of want that back. All right, let's see. Amy, 20, basically at 27 right now. Jimmy trying to push back up here. Hmm. <laughs> Max pain for today is 31. Oh, Benzinga reporting that A is selling more shares. Ah, gotcha. SCV looking fresh on the living room big screen. There we go. Stream so much more fun when not at work. Yeah. Hood puts are printing. There you go. I wish. Oh, were you the one that was. Sue, were you the one that had the 21s? Somebody was talking about the 21 puts on hood. All right, we're getting out of this. Screw this. Taking my money back. Taking my ball and going home. All right, let's see if these puts can gain a little bit in value here by the end of the day, get some more money back, but I don't know. We'll see. Does it look like AMC is going for a double bottom on the one-hour chart? Let me look. I don't know. Amy's bouncing back up here. Um, Spy's not really doing a whole lot today. I think it's going to be another flat day on the Spy. So Strangle was looking good in the pre-market, and then it just didn't end up working out probably take like a i don't know 60 dollar loss but i was potentially going to gain like uh, four or five hundred bucks so fine with me i like that risk all right we want one hour on amc Ooh, amy pop in here at 25 31 you think or right here i mean this would be like a triple bottom <coughs> right here Let's see. Ryan says, I want to load the boat on Amy, but I'm out of dry powder. Do I use my credit card? I don't know, man. That's risky. Always remember, whatever they short, they have to buy back. 100%. Yeah, Spy's looking like it wants to come down. So, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Uh, whoa. Wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> I can get night. Nah. I mean, I'm in the same place that I was before, like the exact same place. Never pay interest. Yeah, don't forget uh, to shout out some of my tickers. I'm running tonight. There you go. Uh, so you had, uh, I know Vine was going for you. Yeah, Spy really looks like it wants to come down here. 
We got the, I don't know, we could do a daily YOLO ones, by. What are the puts looking like? What are they looking like? And we got to find where the 200 is. Where's the 200? All right, it's right at the 200. Oh, it just fell through it. Okay. What would we go for here? We would go for this, and we would get a boatload of them. But I don't know. Let's see. I might, I might, I might tone it down today. You like Apple 205 call for 1231? That's a little bit of a YOLO. Credit card is basically the same as using margin, really. That's true. Minus 7% on no news. Yeah, they're trying to spread FUD about Adam Aaron selling again. Huh. I don't know. I've got something locked and loaded. I don't know if I'm going to do it, though. Let's see. Are respecting C of, uh, C of CPI data? Yeah. Amy getting a little bounce here. Spy coming back up a little bit. I don't know. I think it's just going to trade in the range again. So let me see. I might just take some of this money back. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. GME popping back up here. TLT doing its thing. Spy just kind of hanging out. AMC $20 puts. Good for you. I don't think it's going to work, though. Yeah, he sold some more. Hey, 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 no puts on Amy? Yeah, no, none of that. Yeah, 21% short interest next week. We easily could see that. And utilization at like 80, 85 with all this BS going on. They smelled the blood in the water, guys. It was a, think about it. Perfect storm for shorts this week. GME earnings, good revenue beat, missed EPS. The next day, Adam Aaron comes out, says his statement on the NFT dividend. Everybody freaks out. Then we get the notice that he's that he's selling some more shares because, well, he's got a plan for his retirement and his family going forward. It's the perfect storm for shorts. So they can have their day today if they want to. Let it run down a little bit. Try to push it down. But it's not going to last forever. It's just not going to. That's how I view this. Very good volume today. What's it at? 9.81 million right now. Interesting. All right. Spy just trapped in the range. TLT looking for that break above 150. How's a doc you? Doc you now down. After hedgies. Yep. bounce do they not understand where we have come from i don't think they do they still think oh nope we're gonna short it good for you see what happens i'm not going anywhere uh avct info in january options yeah avct whoa 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 this thing is ripping huh January option. Whoa. Eh, a little. That's going to be risky with these low, with these, with these. Eh, yeah, I don't know. It would have to double by January. Spy just chilling in its little range. AMC's trying to make that move back up to VWAP right now. Talk you, you're going in the wrong direction. Yeah. Shorts were given a uh, gift with the bloody market the last few weeks. We're still holding close to 30. I look at it as strength. Yeah. AA works for us. We own the company. We do own the company. Matt was talking about how he likes man thongs. Good morning, STV. You know what, AMC Ape? I don't know if I needed to hear that today because I have a little image in my head now about I don't I don't want that. I don't why would you do that to me? I was having so much fun this morning and now I'm not I'm having less fun because now I'm envisioning what a man thong is. I own a landscape company. I want to hire the hedgies because they really know how to dig holes better than anyone I've ever seen. That's a good one. Hold on, I'm gonna put out a tweet right now. I've got a good one for you guys.
Here we go. More than 10 million on AMC on the first 10 minutes. Interesting. Him, it's going to be Edel, right? What? Stop him. Stop. That was vile. That was vile, bro. Uh, hold on. Let's see here. All right. Amy coming back down. Spy coming down here. I don't know. I'm going to leave these. It's a 462? Oh, that's terrible. I thought it was the 63. Whoops. Yeah, that's not going to hit. So hopefully it comes back a little bit. I get to take some cash out. Came here for Matt's. He's just vlogging now. I mean, guys, no hate on Matt, guys. Um, also, if you guys don't mind, just dropping some likes on the stream. Help us get some more people in here. Um, we are – I mean, this spy is just having a time over here. Having a little temper tantrum. Hold on. I might – it's still just not – it's still trapped in this little range. I don't like it today. This week, I have not liked Spy to trade it. I just haven't liked it. Or text on AMC, please. Yeah. All right. We've got 18.85%. Borrowed shares, 115,000. I mean, return shares, 8.3,000. There's nothing crazy going on in the securities lending market today for Amy. Nothing too nuts. Uh, Vix messaged you on Twitter, the CFO screenshot. Yeah, we can take a look at that. Uh, Spy doing its thing here. Amy, come on. Get back above VWAP. Get in that range again. GME, little boom, boom candle right here, huh? Here we go. All right, we'll do a small Spy YOLO, I think. I don't know. I just don't like it. What's it saying on trading view? It's saying do it. I don't know. We'll see. What's TLT doing here? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, people. I don't know. I've had more dip than turkey this month. To make it stop. I can't. I can't make it stop. All right. We need this back over here. TLT coming down. Watch Spy to get a little bit of a move back to the upside. It doesn't really want to, though. Hmm. <laughs> All righty. I predict a rip to 32 today. We could. It's always possible. Huh. Don't forget. Don't force a play. Yeah, Gio. I think you're right. I think you're right. I think you're right. I mean, I know what I want to get today. It's it's an AMC play, but we have so much time to do that today. So we'll see. TLT coming up. Spy look looking like it wants to go. Parents these days are a dumpster fire. Or, why? Stay away from spy today. Yeah. Uh I mean, yeah, AA sold some more shares. But we already know it's gonna happen. That's the thing. We already know. We've the market's priced it in. They're just trying to spread fear. Uh Amy down about five and a half right now. It's coming right back to VWAP here, though. So, oh, nice. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay. Here we go. I predict my protein farts might get me kicked from the gym today. Tabasco. Dude, I got to start going back to the gym. I Like this winter break, I'm going to go wild. I'll be able to go at night, I think. If it's open that late. I just haven't been able to go. I like don't have the time right now. It stinks because I got school and I do this all day. Uh, yeah, I did see Trace Radio yesterday. We we talked about it earlier on in the in the stream. Ooh, Amy getting some boom boom candles here, people. Here we go. Here we go. Spy is trying to make a move back up. GME, big boom boom here. GME is now green on the day. Look at this. Look at this, people. Let's get some rockets over here. Come on, rockets and basketballs. Here we go. Rockets and basketballs. 
Come on. Come on, Amy. Ooh, back above 28. That's what we like to see out of you. Here we go. Spy coming up. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Amy back in the range. GME back in the range. Spy back in the range. Could get dangerous here. Let's get some boom boom candles coming back up. Diamond wrists. Oh, that is. Suck it, shorts. Yeah. AVCT is ripping again. Interesting. Oh my God. 36%. How's Docu? I really want Docu to hit. Docu, you're not hitting. <laughs> All right, Amy. All right, GME coming back up, up a percent right now. Come on, Amy, get some bullish, act bullish action here. Candle. Oh, I like those. They use their ammo too early. Yeah, they might have. I mean, when you look at the securities lending data today, it's there's nothing. Nothing. 8.3K returned. 115K borrowed. All right. Tesla's down. No, it's not. That's got to be cap. You are capping. Tesla's down $16. Not 20%. Chuck, we're going to have none of that FUD come in here. That Tesla's down 20%. We will have none of that. Uh, A sold more shares. That's why it's running rough lately in the shorts at 73% dark to pull volume. Yeah, I mean, you can say whatever you want about A selling shares. I mean, it, it's just getting transferred to uh, essentially JP Morgan as the beneficial owner, and then they are going to sell it when they he's just diversifying his assets going into like the later half of his life so he can use like all of his success that he's had in his business career to set his family up forever i don't fault him for it is he still gonna do the best that he can to increase the value of the company and and Still listen to shareholders? Yeah, absolutely. Like nothing's really changing in this situation, guys. All right, Amy's trying to come back up here. 27.90 right now. Spy's trying as well. GME up 0.7. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, what's up, Jazz Cabbage? How you doing, my man? He can't sell during the, he can't, I don't think he can sell during the massive price runups. Let's see, here we go. Ooh, come on, Amy. Come on, Amy. Back above 28. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. We easily could just see it go on an absolute moon mission too today and just rip. Short the division, 100%. Dave Lauer tweet, interesting. What do we got? What's Dave saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is huge. Big news just came across Bloomberg. The Department of Justice is said to pursue broad probe probe, sorry, into hedge fund short selling. Predatory short selling is a scourge. I think that's how you pronounce that. On markets and must be addressed. Let's see the feds finally step in and enforce the rules and laws. Let's spread this information out. All right, I just tweeted it out. So do you guys want to go retweet it, retweet Dave's? Let's get this info out there. Spy coming up. Amy, trying to get that move back up. Uh-oh, shorts. You're screwed. 
Watch out for the Department of Justice coming and knocking at your door. Being like, hey, why are you overshorting this stock? Merry effing Christmas. Major catalyst. I could be, remember, it's going to take some um, take some time. I mean, it came across Bloomberg. I trust Dave Lauer in, in what he sees. I don't. He's not going to come out here and just start spreading BS. So. That is good. That is real good, guys. All right. I'll find a source on that in a little while. Um, that would be huge. That is huge. DOJ releasing the hounds. Bing bong. Who do you think they're going to be going after first? Who do you think they're going to be looking at first with predatory short selling? Um, the two companies that have most likely been shorted the most and biotech companies. So AMC, GameStop, and any of these other biotech companies that can provide a lot of value to society that they're just like, nah, screw you. Nope. This That's a great step in the right direction, guys. Great step. GG wasn't doing anything. That's not necessarily true. Takes time. Same thing with the NFT dividend. It was going to take time. People tried to rush it. This town needs a hero. More lip service? I don't know, man. I don't know. All right. Amy is at 27.19. GME, 155.28. Now pretty much flat on the day, down 0.3. Dave Lauer keeps tweeting. All right, hold on. Is he still going? Oh, perfect. We're on the same page. All right, let's read this thread. Perfect. I didn't even see that. He's correct. because He just confirmed what I was saying. These short sellers often identify vulnerable firms and target them with uh, a mix of press leaks, regulatory tips, which aren't, and market manipulation. I've seen and studied this directly. These activities are anti-ethical to free markets and destructive to otherwise good business. A favorite target of short sellers are often biotechs, thin liquidity and high risk. How many drugs haven't come to the market because of predatory tactics and market manipulation? A lot. It's about time that the DOJ stepped in here. The SEC has proven ineffective at enforcing its rules and fines do not do the trick. 100% he's correct. If you get fined $20 million for making $2 billion, you do that all day long. They would incorporate that into the cost of doing business. We need to see real repercussions to this behavior, bar people from the industry and send them to jail. Fines are just a cost of doing business. I guess we're just completely on the same page here. This is great. This is great. Uh, AMC had the fake sell-off. Thank you so much for the super, uh, JM. A bunch of popular cryptos all took simultaneous dumps. Hedgy selling crypto to get cash for more shorting. All BS. Very, very possible. Oh, what's up, Nepal? How you doing, my man? It's a real Bloomberg article. Am I going to have to pay for Bloomberg today? Yahoo Finance, you better put this out. Hold on. I'm looking for the article. Do I actually have to sign up and pay these idiots? News. All right. Can somebody send me the link to the article? Oh, that's uh, February 11th. Let's see. AMC has some volume coming in. Yeah, hold on. Let's get this up here. I mean, 15 million, we're at 27, 17, spy coming up. GME down 0.5. At Bloomberg, uh, Google Bloomberg short selling, and you can read the article. It doesn't mention AMC or GME. I mean, they're going to be involved, though. Wait, what, what was it? Bloomberg. I don't think I will be able to read the article. Short selling, Bloomberg. No, that's June 20th. 10 minutes ago, short selling by headphones is not, it, I swear if they, I hate, okay. We're just going to sign up for it right now. Where's, where's my stuff? Hold on. I'm trying to, I don't even know where my cards are. I think it's in my coat. Screw it, Bloomberg. I'm going to give you two bucks a month now. 
All right. This might take a minute, but we're going to get the article. <laughs> All right. Here we go. This would be very, very unfortunate if I accidentally mess this up. All right. Let's see. We got AMC over here. Yeah. All right. All right, bear with me, guys. We're getting there. We are getting there. Just give me like a minute, and I should be good. And we're going to get back. We're going to read this article. This is going to be interesting. Oh, my God. Now I got to go to my email. All right, guys. All right. Give me like another two minutes and we should be good. Almost there. You need to verify your email. Come on. Come on. And you. All right. Here we go. No, I don't want to do this. Next, next, next. Skip. I don't want to do any of this crap. All right, I think we got it now. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, is this going to say my name everywhere? Hold on. You guys already know my name, but... I don't want, like, my info out there. I should have done this better. I think we're good. Okay, so here we go. Hedge funds ensnared an expansive DOJ probe into short selling. The U.S. Justice Department has launched an expansive criminal investigation into short selling by hedge funds and research firms scrutinizing their symbiotic relationships and hunting for signs that they improperly coordinate trades or broke other laws to profit, according to people familiar with the matter. The probe, run by the department's fraud section with federal prosecutors in L.A., is digging into how hedge funds tap into research and set up their bets, especially in the run-up to publication of reports that move stocks. So that's kind of talking about biotechs right there. Authorities are prying into financial relationships between hedge funds and researchers and hunting for signs that money managers sought to engineer startling stock drops or engage in other abuses such as insider trading, said two of the people asking not to be named because the inquiries are confidential. We also have AMZ up here, top right, down to $26.75. Screw them. They can short it all they want. I'll just go buy more right after we read this. That's probably what I'll go do. Uh, the U.S. probe opens yet another front in an already treacherous era for those who try to profit on stock drops. Some bearish funds threw in the towel as government stimulus buoyed prices during the pand uh, pandemic. That pressure intensified as retail investors organized counterattacks mm, on popular short targets. Interesting. This is another one. By late January, Citron vowed to give up short selling research and focus on long bets. That recently came out. Uh... Government attorneys are trying to determine whether short sellers engaged in some form of deception, say, by misleading the public about their financing of what appears to be independent research, violating confidentiality agreements with authors, or orchestrating stock plunges to panic shareholders and exa uh, exa ex exacerbate selling. Huh, what does that sound like? Sounds like this. Sounds like what's going on recently. What's my first pet's name? We're not doing this. An attorney for Citron said he's aware of an industry probe, but that it's routine for U.S. investigators to open and close cases. He's expressed doubt that their theories would be borne out. Interesting. Um, some hedge funds have been known to suggest targets to researchers who then deliver scathing reports. That's illegal. That's just fear-mongering. Sounds like Gasparino might have a bad day. You know what? You want to go talk trash to Gasparino? 
Uh, should we do that? I think we should. I think we should have some fun today. All right, we're going to copy this link and we're going to go we're going to go over to Gasparino. What's his at? I don't even know his name. I don't know. Do we do it or do we not do it? What do you guys want to do? LinkedIn? Oh, we could throw it on LinkedIn. All right. We need to do... Hold on. I'll set up a poll. I don't know how... All right. We'll do this. Do we talk trash to Gasparino or not? Yes or no? Go vote. <laughs> Let's vote on it. No, we have a vote. Oh, AMC, a little boom boom candle right here, back above 27. All right. Did, are you guys seeing the poll right now or no? All right, here we go. 82% say yes so far. 39 votes. All right. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Don't even waste your time with that clown. All right. I mean, it could be fun though. I kind of want to I kind of want to go back and forth with him on Twitter. Pretty sure this candle is the news spreading. I mean, it could be. Ooh, GME coming back up too, flat on the day. SPY coming up as well. I mean, it is a little bit of a broad market move. Docu coming up. Everything's getting a little bit of bullish momentum right here. All right, 80% say yes so far. We're going to give it another two minutes and see what happens, but we're going to go. Kenny just read the article. What's happening to AMC? They smelled blood in the water for every uh, with everything that's been happening over the last 48 hours, and they came out and attacked full force. That's exactly what happened today. We have your back. All right. He will say they didn't list AMC or GME as the ones being overshorted. I mean, they did, though. They they talked about – I will post the link on Twitter. Um, the one we just read about, about this new short-selling probe by the Department of Justice. Spy coming up. AME at 27.35. All right, we got – choose your battles wisely. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can win that battle 100 times out of 10. All right, we got 151 votes so far. 78% say yes, 22% say no. We'll wait till it gets to a couple more, and we'll see what the people want. This is the democracy. We're going to use my Twitter account for a positive cause, I guess. Yeah, also, if you guys don't mind, just dropping some likes on the stream. We're having fun today. We got some great news about that short-selling probe. Uh, Amy, I mean, it hit a low down about 10% on the day, but it is bouncing back up now. GME up very, very slightly, basically flat on the day. Now let's see if Amy can run back into the green spy is coming up. Okay, we're going to do it. That's what we're going to do. What's his at? At C Gasparino. Um, let's see. Come on, I might say something like, like very wild. Hold on. Hold on. We might have some fun here, people. Fry him? I could. This could be fun. All right. I mean, everybody's, most people are saying yes. So let me come up with something good. All right. Hold on. Um, I got to think of something good. Keep it short. Yeah. Come on, Apple. Is this battle worth it? Yes. Get him, Vix. Tell him his toothbrush smells like Kenny's mayo. No. Is this the Gasparino power half hour? Nah, we got time. We got lots of time. All right, everybody. I don't know. We got to, I got to think of something good. It'll take me a few minutes, but I'll think of something good. I was thinking like, why don't you pull out all those hedgies in your pocket and let them know that the DOJ is coming. 
Dave Lauer tweet 15 minutes ago. Did you see this? Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're going to mess with Gasparino with. It's this article right here, the short selling hedge fund probe by the DOJ, which is really, really big. That's not the SEC. That's Department of Justice. Oh, boom, boom on AMC. Here we go. I hate him so much. I don't know. Part of me is like, I don't even want to. I don't even want to. I don't even want to give them the satisfaction. Like I just don't. But I also want to mess with them. Big Dorge W. Yeah, a little bit over here. I mean, it's kind of like a descending W. Like lower lows. Spy is coming back up here. That strangle was not going to work today. It was getting hammered. Getting hammered. Tell him the DOJ will look into him for collaborating. Hold on. We could do this one. Ooh. He's not worth it. I mean, everybody's saying yes. Nothing says loving quite like Vix and Charlie's prison. What? <laughs> Here you go. Uh, today is a weird day. It's a very weird day. Spot, like, again, basically not a crazy move on the spy. We got GME down not a whole lot today. Order flow on AMC is totally not on par with the price action. Yeah. What if the hedgies paid for this news to provide a reason for a green next week? No, it's a... That's funny. DOJ is investigating his fake Pulitzer Prize nomination claims. That's funny. How about I'll just put some. I'll just keep it short and sweet. Actually, I'm not even going to add him. I'm not even going to add him. I'll just tweet out the link. That's what we're going to do. I like don't, I do not want to give him any more attention. I really don't. But I did tweet it out. I tweeted out the link. So hold on. I'll put the link down in the chat. Let's see. Make sure you guys go engage with this so we can get people, people watching that, uh, like reading this and spreading this information out there. But that's a, that's some wild news. Just tweet, I can't hear you. Yeah. Like with a meme. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, we're going to hold on. End poll. No more poll. Turned into a dictatorship. That's what we got. All right. Spy coming back down. AMC 2742. GME flat. Doc, you coming back down a little bit. What's up? Uh, what do you call it? Oracle up to. Are they getting a breakout or are they coming back down? Yeah, Oracle came back down. Uh, I don't know. It could be a nice continuation for next week if we if we see the market start to go up. But, I mean, what are these plays that I got earlier? Dun, dun, dun. How is that possible? That's weird. Not going to get AMC to much cheaper than this. TBH, this is the floor. I mean, yeah, we've seen we've seen these... We've seen these stupid moves happen where it just drops below 30. And then over the next couple of days, it just goes on a moon mission back up. Um, and each time, let's check the Ortex data real quick. I hate that I had to pay for Bloomberg. I hate that. I hate them. I don't like them. What's it? Yeah, no change in the short interest. Sorry, that was quick, but there was no change really. Let's see. All right. Yeah, shout out to Dave Lauer for putting that out. Do you have unusual wells? I don't. I really want to learn how to use it, though. Just send him three words, Department of Justice. Yeah, I could. Ooh, whoa. My contact freaked out a little bit there. All right.
righty. Yeah, nothing too crazy going on. GME down 0.68. Oracle coming down again. Uh, Amy at 27.27 about. Going to do extra cardio at the gym so I can try to keep up with Amy when she runs later. It's a great day to be an ape. Tabasco Dave, yes, sir. Thanks for coming in, guys. Yeah, also, there's a lot of people in here right now. Thank you guys so much for showing so much support um, on the channel recently. It's awesome. Um, I love all of you guys. Thank you guys so much. Life's hard. Don't beat yourself up over it. Oh, what happened? DOJ, 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 DOJ. Let's see. All righty. You rock, Vix? Thank you, guys. You guys rock. All right, Jimmy down 1.26. Amy down 8 for, for FUD reasons. They're spreading the FUD again. Uh, dude, it's great. Got to check it out. He's on a mission to create a Bloomberg terminal for retail traders. I've had it in the past. Uh, unusual whales. The way I was going to use it though, was just the incorrect way of using it. So I gotta, I'd have to learn like a good strategy of how to use the flow. Um, I mean, I've spoken to unusual whales a few times in space calls and DMs. I mean, I love what he's doing. We almost, I think we almost like met him one time. We were going to try, but it didn't end up working out. Oh, thank you guys. I appreciate all of you. Vix, for once in your life, can you make an end of day prediction or an end of week prediction next week? Peter, no. Because it's just going to do what it's going to do. Next week, we have like, next week's going to be wild. Like next week could be the, the, the week to crush it on SPY with the Fed stuff. Like we're going to see like stuff start to come out before. I mean, when is it? December 10th. So hold on, let me count. Saturday, 11th, Sunday, 12th, Tuesday. So Tuesday, we're going to get something from the Fed and then also Wednesday. So Tuesday and Wednesday, then Thursday, Friday could be wild. Takta D says AMC, huge bounce coming. That would be sweet. I don't, Jack's dad, I'm not sure what you're trying to say there. Lou said, sit, um, I don't, yeah. I traded in a cash account, transfer 10K to buy the dip. Usually get instant credit, but got an alert. Standing out to wait until it's settled. No shares to buy. Nah, uh, the funds just have to settle. Uh, it's probably gonna be like five days. Actually, no. You Typically, you can get instant access with shares, but options usually take like five days. So that's weird. Uh, it depends on what brokerage you're trading on. Seeking Alpha said several dozen stocks. Interesting. Oh my gosh, all the momentum we had is done for. No, what momentum do we have? We've just been bouncing around. There was no momentum. We bounced up and we're getting shorted again because, uh, I mean, I'll say it again. They smelled blood in the water. They smelled that everybody was worried about what was going on with AMC. And they just said, we're going to make it worse for them. And that's what we're seeing here. Um, we saw the AA news. We, we saw two pieces of AA news. Um, we saw GME's earnings like, just a little perfect storm for the shorts this week. They want to keep shorting it, try to push it down. Go for it. Relax. We're here to stay 100%. I'm not going anywhere. They uh, they had to kill off the calls. I mean, not really, but they, they I mean, 31 is the max pain. If they push it down even lower, then they're going to have to hedge the puts. So they'd have to short. So we're seeing a little bit going into the, like uh, yesterday and today, we're seeing that double sell. We're just waiting for that double buy to come back in. Will it happen next week? I don't necessarily think so, um, unless we really start to get going. But January is when we could potentially see those big double buy waves come in. Because after next week, where's the money going to go? The big January day, that's, let me show you. I mean, it's already looking dirty. Like there's 112,000 contracts in the money for January already. Now, where's the money going to go? Uh, at these out of the monies. So there's already 377,000 out. But remember, the contracts are going to be cheaper. So they can buy contracts that are closer to where the stock is currently trading at, but at a lower price. So when we go to AMC's options chain right here, going into January, 
<coughs> well, you can get contracts below 40 for not that expensive. So we can see these pileups from 35 to 40, which 40's got 52,000. We've got a lot of open interest here that could get very, very dangerous. They're not going to be able to get these 20s, uh, the 10s out of the money. They're going to have to do something with them. And January is most likely the expiration date that they've been using to hide a lot of their short interest just due to the amount of in-the-money calls that have been sold. So then what happens? Well, they have to roll them out. Now, any time they roll over and do that, well, there's always a big buying transaction that comes in due to them doing those buy right trades to still hide some of that short interest. That's why we see around the quarterly expirations, we start to see a little bit of a move up before, about two weeks before. So that's how I look at the next big run-up. I know um, Rico with Wyckoff, his stuff. I mean, I've watched a couple of his videos. I like it. Um, he's been pretty spot on so far. Um, Astro's fractal theory. Um, a lot of people are talking about the fractals. And then a lot of other people are matching up with, with December, January as well. So let's see what happens. But again, it's setting up. It's the perfect storm kind of for shorts this week. But we're leading into the time where it's the perfect storm for retail in AMC longs. So they can do whatever they want right now. They're, they're fun time just taking out loans, paying the borrow fees, selling shares into the market. In my mind, not going to last very long. So that's where I'm at. Oh, picked up seven more. Loving the dip. There you go, Deborah. There you go. Um, 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 <laughs> all right, let's see what we got. Oh, oh, shoot. I thought Charles Payne was back, but it's just a uh, young listen with the C Payne profile. I got excited. Watch Astros DD on charting with Fibonacci and everyone relax. Yeah, the, the whole thing about the fractals and stuff, my, I, my brain just doesn't. I mean, I can't like my brain just doesn't work like that with the charts. I can't see like the chart pattern and be like, if you extend it, shrink it down and it goes over here, it's the same thing. Um, I don't, uh, that's, that's just not how my brain works. So um, I really like those theories. I pay attention to them when they come up um, to just see what people are seeing. Um, but it's hard for me to confirm or deny what I'm seeing because I just can't see it. Like I can't like provide another counter argument to it with like the option chain and quarterly expirations and a lot of the other DD, that's where my strong suit is. Ho ho, what's up, Pam? How you doing? Hayden, what's going on, man? Chess is your latest addiction. Interesting. Chess is pretty sweet. Hold on, I got to send out a message real quick. How are we doing over here? Oh, pretty bad. <laughs> All right. Hold up one second. A spy coming down. Uh, ba, 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 ba. All righty. Uh, hoping the price stays down until I get my Christmas bonus so I can load up. Archie, there you go, my man. Don't college teachers teach Fibonacci's? Huh. No. 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 You know what they talk to us about? Weighted average cost of capital, internal rate of return. Useless. If uh if the guy that's in here, uh, who's the freshman finance major, I was really excited to learn a bunch about finance and like the markets and stuff like that. I just accepted that I'm not going to. I just, I'm in my senior year now. The two most important classes I've taken, like basic econ and fixed income, and that's it. Uh, estimated short interest right now still at 18.85%. Nothing changed on the return and borrowed shares. So, I mean, nothing too crazy going on here. Useless. Yeah, they don't teach us jack. Any, they don't teach us anything. 
Sue Ray, what's up? Hey guys, you woke up, you already won, no fear, and never show it on social media if you do get scared. If you do have any worries about anything, shoot us, me, TMI, Trey, Matt, any of these other guys, just message us or one of our mods, just message people. And we'll 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 get the message relayed to us and and we will be able to tell you what we're seeing. Um spy is really selling off right here. Really, really selling off. What's TLT doing? Uh, TLT above 150. How is that YOLO put to it? That other side of the strangle. 25. <laughs> That's comical. Large volume in the first hour? Yeah, I can't believe it's only an hour in. All right, Spy coming back up here. I mean, it's still trapped in the range. Spy is still green on the day. Yeah, what's AMC's volume? Uh, whoa, 22 million. That is a lot of volume. College, you were supposed to have potential. Yeah. SV, could this be setting up inverted head and shoulders on the AMC? Wishful thinking. It, yeah, it could be. GME coming down, now down three. I mean, we've seen some big moves on GME today. High of the day, uh, 162.30. Low of the day, 150.59. The volatility today is insane. On AMC, the high is 29.93. The low, 26.63. Um, Let's see. Yeah, very, very large volume. Let's see. If the DOJ vote. Yeah. All right. Let's see. We're gonna we're probably gonna talk a lot about that DOJ stuff a little bit later. All right, people. Amy, 2685. Spy trying to come back up. TLT is at the high. GME trading down near the low, getting a little bit of a little bit of a red candle here. Now at the daily low. AMC still holding up. I mean, all right with the spy selling off like this, but we're gonna need to see some buyers come back in, especially towards the end of the day. Did I average down on my docu calls? No, I'm just leaving them. Uh, Jack's dad. Yeah, you're good. Uh, Lou is talking about, uh, sitting out using Evergrande money all year to short us down a mortgage type loan. Yeah. yeah. So it's just using the bonds as collateral. Um, I haven't seen any proof that they've been doing that. That's the thing. Like I would need to see like, like Evergrande bonds are qualifying collateral. Could it be happening? Absolutely. And if that collateral goes away, then they're then they are kind of screwed, which it's going to. They've been downgrade, downgrade, downgrade. The value of those bonds is like zero because they're not paying. They're not going to pay their debt. But it's not. It's it's it's. I don't think it's a confirmed thing yet, from what I've seen. It easily could be happening though, and if it is, that's very good for us because if they are using it as collateral, then they're screwed. Uh, AMC bouncing back up above twenty seven right now. What's the spy doing? It's coming down a little bit. GME, it's trying. AMC needs to get back into that range again, and we need to see everything start to bend to the upside. I mean, the last low that we've seen on AMC was, what was it, 25.31 was the low. We just ripped right off of it. So we'll see. MACD looks like it wants to come around here. TLT is getting some action today. So hold on, hold on. I got to look at something now. Can we see, uh, be seeing a nasty George W on the daily for AMC? 
Whoops, that's not the right chart. I mean, it would need to. Oh, you could right here. So it's starting. It's it came down. It could do that. It would. I mean, the double bottom would be at twenty five thirty one, and then boom. <laughs> Again, guys, remember, if you can beat my birthday candle of 35.58% in a day on your birthday, you get to be mod for a day. That is, that is still a thing that we're going to be doing. And I really want it to happen. Ethan, thank you so much for the super. Damn, it's a catch-up market today. It is. Uh, am I streaming all day today? Uh, no, I'll be coming off around 11 45, 12, and then I'll come back on at two. Started with two AMC, now 769. There you go, my man. <coughs> there you go. My birthday is coming up next week. Ken Grifton, I'd love to see it. 35.58%, I believe, is what it is. You got to beat it. If you beat it, you get you get a wrench for the day. But if you misbehave with the wrench, then I'll just take it away from you. Uh anyone who paper hands will FOMO in when we move. That's true. I mean, I I, I tweeted out about that. I was like, anybody that was paper handed below 30, it's like you did what you had to do, but I'll see you again soon when we start to get that move back up. Uh, I think I got a chance. My birthday is early February, says David. There you go, my man. My birthday will have 100% gain on December 24th. Mark this post. There you go. Like button is still on. Push it. There you go. Thanks, Tim. I appreciate it, my man. All right. Come on, Amy. It's looking like it wants to get going a little bit here. Above 27. Spy coming down a little bit. Um, it is getting a little cold now in the apartment, so I'm going to turn the air off like literally two seconds. Watch everybody just like be like, no, nope, Vix gets up for two seconds. It would leave. <laughs> See how quick that was. I'm back. I'm back. Catch up market. It's like a can It's like the kangaroo market is back. We're just kangarooing around. Trapped in a range. Spy still green on the day. Still green. Where does Stevie go? He left. See, every time. Every time. Uh, let's see. All right, people. Uh, AMC above 27 still. Uh, come on now. Come on now, Amy. I guess the dream is over. Uh, there's no way they can attack it like this for long. The big move up it is, is inevitable. Yeah. I thought you were going to pull an Adam Aaron when you stood up. You would like that. What the hoot? <laughs> I'm kidding. It's fun to make jokes sometimes, especially when you're streaming. All right. I mean, we still got that sell indicator on the spy on, on my trading view stuff, but I mean, it looks like it's bending back around. How's um how's Docu and uh Oracle doing? Docu struggling. Um Oracle. Yeah, selling off. I mean that move from one of uh, yeah, the premium is probably jacked. Free Charles Payne, 100 percent I haven't even seen like I haven't seen anything on C Payne yet. Maybe you should drop the shorts. Ha, huh, would be hilarious. Guys. That's for my OnlyFans. We save that for over there. Those who hold AMC aren't scared of a 10% dip when there's a 1,000% a 1, return on the way. Yeah, there we go. I put, I put money on a... Let's see. Hand the DOJ the entire subreddit files. Have a good read. It's a picture book with memes to keep your attention. Yeah, I mean, it would be like, hey, this is what they've done. 
LFG Amy not leaving, holding strong. There we go. All right, let's see. What are we doing? We're selling off a little bit here, down below 27. Spy coming down a little bit. Oracle coming down. What else are we looking at today? What else do we think? What are we thinking about? I mean, I'm still gonna. Um, I, I still have to make another big trade. I just gotta move money around to do it. Spy selling, selling to woo hoo hoo. New day lows on the spy. Still green though. I mean, this move right here, four sixty nine to four sixty set four sixty nine sixty. It's about a $2 move. Like when you're trading spy, you almost need like a $2.50, like $3 move for it to really print. And again, when it's up above here, like my strategy would be like, no, don't touch puts. Like, what are you doing? So you'd have to really be YOLO in today on spy to really make any money. 13 articles on Weeble. No way about the AA selling. That is BS. Why would anyone leave for pennies or a loss not happening? Sorry, shorts. Exactly. I feel like I'm looking at a different chart, says Paul. I mean, what are you looking at? All right. Spy bouncing off that low. Oracle trying to come back up. GME trying to come back up here. Let's see if we get some boom boom candles here, huh? Can't believe they're pulling this with the DOJ breathing down their neck today. Maybe they're yellowing because they know they're screwed either way. Yeah, they could be. He's starting to sound sus. Who? Me? You making fun of my voice? You making fun of my sick voice? Is that what's going on here? Last ditch effort before all this gets aired out? Yeah. All right, people. How's it looking? Let's see what we got on Twitter. Anything crazy? Inflation 6.8%. Oh, my God. That is just... Ah. All right. Yeah, the DO... Yeah, that DOJ stuff is big, guys. Like, that's solid. Not selling. What is going on here? John, thank you so much for the super. Those January strikes looking mighty yummy. I would have to agree with you, man. They're not looking too bad right now, especially on this dip. I don't know, though. I had to roll out some of mine because they were getting battered. <laughs> I was like, this is not ideal right now. Um, so I just rolled them out. Yes, I think I did it yesterday. I rolled some of them out to March. I'm just playing. I bet Kenny peed the bed last night. <laughs> there we go. Rest of 100 by done under 27. Carl, there you go, my man. All right. I'm thirsty. It's hedgy tier time. Hedge funds are trying to bet, uh, their best to short it a lot until December 14th, 15th. Yeah, they might even do it until then, too. I mean, we're just, again, we're just seeing the perfect storm with news coming out that sparks FUD. And if the price starts selling off, like, people are going to be like, oh, it's because of that news and people don't like it. Not necessarily true. I don't care. We already knew all of that was happening. We knew that the NFT stuff was like, yeah, it's going to take some time. But it was getting rushed. It's like, rush, rush, rush. Don't do that. Um, second thing, Adam Aaron selling shares. We knew that was going to happen. We knew from June or July, I think was the earnings call that we found out. So July, August, September, October, November, December. It's like five, six months that we knew about this. And they're going to sell it on this day when it happens. Whatever, man. You can do whatever you want. Keep digging that hole, shorts. The hedgies are literally professional hole diggers. They are literally the best at digging holes. Lucid next week? Yeah, like, eh, maybe. Drinking hedgy tears? As always. As always, drinking hedgy tears. All right. 
Spy trying to come back up here. Amy, 27, 20, 27, 23. Ooh, it's trying here. It's trying. Getting back in that range. Let's get that move back up to VWAP. GME down 1.88. Oracle selling off a little, little bit. How's Docu doing? Those Docu calls are struggling. Price stays the same. The volume doubles. What do you mean? I mean, the price is di much different. Um, volume today, 24 point. 24 million, 24 and a half million so far. Let's check Ortex. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming. Oh, boy. I felt that one. I knew that one was coming. All right. Return shares, 61,000. Borrowed shares, 115. Uh, basically, 116,000. So there's a net borrow. Or there's a... Yeah, there's a net borrow of 54.9. Ooh, Amy getting a little bit of action here. Come on now. Come on now. Get us back to VWAP, huh? Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, okay, more details. Unusual wills. Dozens of stocks will be investigated, though a full list is unknown. Includes Luck and Coffee, Bank of California. I think we know. I think we know the list. I think it's over here. I think they did come out with a list of some of the stocks that will be investigated. Funding research. Where was it? It was in here somewhere. Yeah, Luck and Coffee. I mean, they were. That's weird because they were committing fraud. I believe Bank of California. This one and these other names. But they also said, where is it? Uh, some bearish funds threw in the towel as government stimulus buoyed. Uh, that pressure intensified as retail. Um, I mean, let's see where that takes us. I mean, I still love that investigation. It's still going to put a lot of pressure on the shorts. Ho, ho, what's up, Ashraf? How you doing, my man? Uh, thank you so much for the super. No more division in the live amc to the uh live amc to the death and would never sell until four digits but don't trust aa and thought his tweet was badly timed yeah i mean i mean i trust aa ashraf um i i trust him to do what he's gonna do for the company he's gotten us this far he's, he's done great things with the company and he's listened to retail investors bad timing yeah not great timing after gme's earnings especially with that um sell that he did he just kind of like piled it on but maybe maybe get it all out of the way in this one week here's like that could be another thing like get all of the bad news out of the way in one week so that there's nothing else really bad heading into spider-man coming out and potential bullish action going into the end of the year what are you guys talking about right now I don't see anything about that stuff. Let me see. No. A made it clear that the date was picked very far in advance. Yep. Five minute MACD crossing on AMC. I mean, it's already crossing the one. What's on the five? Yeah, crossing on the five. What about the 30? Mm, not on the 30 yet, but on the five, it is right about the cross. All right, let's see. Come on, let's get us back above. I would love to see an absolutely face ripping rip explosion eruption of amc going into the end of the day today to just say screw you you cannot keep it down this long on this bs fud that we already all knew was happening uh yeah it doesn't control it 
Uh, Spider-Man, I'm going to the premiere by myself on Thursday. Ha, hopefully another ape bought the seat next to me. I think I accidentally bought one of those love seat sections. Wait, hold on. What? What's a love seat section? Is that real? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on now. Somebody explain this to me. A love seat section? Hold on now. What is that? Is that real or is that Spank being a wild boy? Come on, Amy, rip like STV's OnlyFans. It's just two seats next to each other off to the side. Like alone? Top row, 16 year olds. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know at that point that there's going to be some funny business going on if you just see a back row full of just like. 16 year olds throw some web for sure all right you guys are getting wild never buy the very back row that's when your popcorn gets over buttered <laughs> it's a pie coming back up oh, amy trying to go what's this five minute mac d doing yeah all right here we go some amc has recliners and live seats guys i didn't even know for like the longest time that like the the arm rests like went up didn't know I had no idea now that sounds sus there you go doing my part spamming Weibo comment section with DD yeah the Weibo comment section is like it's like worse than like I don't even know what to describe it as like stock twits oh my god you guys are getting dirty Apparently, C-Pain has been locked out of his Twitter. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to... I, we don't know. I We can't really contact him now. Um, Vegas, are you in here, man? Is Vegas in here? I request a Vegas. Love when you say, here we go. I mean, here we go. Let's see. Five minute back to cross. 30 minute? Come on now. Mm, not yet. My AMC has recliners. That's sweet. It's like a leather couch and they recline and have tabletops that swivel for your food. There's like a middle part that separates them for your drinks. At least that's what our AMC theater has. Yeah, the one that's near me is like not, not like that. Did I cover the – uh? so, Frank, it's not an SEC probe. It's a Department of Justice probe. So that's big. I mean, Amy, looking looking like it wants to come up now. What do we got for news? Ah, no. No, Apple. <coughs> Sorry. I apologize. What are the contracts that I had at? Yeah, I'm not too disappointed about that. I sold these earlier for like 365, 370, and I had like three of them. Not too disappointed about that. Apple could honestly be a nice YOLO today, though. Hold on. 7750. I mean, it's following the spy, so I don't know. I don't know. Bless you. Vegas is Geo. Anyone else find it funny that C-Pain gets locked out of his Twitter the day the investigation is announced? Uh, I mean, we aren't locked out. I've been tweeting about it a lot. Dave Lauer's been tweeting about it. I mean, Trey and Matt are probably going to hop on it too. And they have giant audiences. Freaking Apple, man. Freaking Apple. I don't know if Apple breaks out of this range. We'll see if we want to take a little yellow on it today, but I do need to feel something. I haven't traded anything today. Nothing. Looking for a dip on Microsoft. There you go, Nepal. Looking for some yellows. Looking for some yellow. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. 
Well, ooh, hoo, hoo. spy pop. AMC coming down a little, little bit. Here we go. I'm sick too. I'm better now. Uh, Apple held up the market all week. I mean, Apple's just been saying, no, I'm going to do whatever I want to do, which is nice. It was really nice when we were see when we saw this. Hold on, where was it? Two days ago. This is when I sold my apples right around here when it ripped with two days expiration. Like it was pretty solid. It was pretty solid. All right, everybody. What happened to Astro? I'm not sure. I think he was sick earlier this week. Your boring essay. Then leave. Goodbye. Uh, I was sick for like a month. It sucked, but I'm better now. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping I'm going to be good by tomorrow. All right, Amy, 27 flat. GME down 2.7. Astro sleeping. Yeah. Also, if you guys don't mind, just dropping some likes on the stream. Helps us get some more people in here. Uh, check out ATR. Should go soon. Sending apes. Positive vibes. There you go, my man. Your. <laughs> Thanks, Jazz. Yeah, at least get the grammar right. If you're going to call me boring. You should be grammatically correct about it. Uh, have you provided your thoughts on the DOJ investigating shorting of some other stocks? Yes. Uh, we've talked about that a decent amount today. I've tweeted about it a bunch. We talked about it right as it came out. I had to like purchase Bloomberg to like, not the terminal, but like the, the, the news service to read the article. It's right here. Yes, we went through it. Um, I think it's really, really solid. Let's see. Both of my sons just bought a total of 4,200 shares of AMC today. Trey's mustache. That is wild. That is wild. There you go, my man. Let's see. <laughs> Nothing's over till we say it is 100% beach guy. 100%. Wish I had 20K a month for the Bloomberg terminal. I think it's 20K a year. I think it's 2K a month. Uh, is it good news for us as apes? Uh, yes. I mean, the, the fact that the DOJ, ooh, AMC coming down. Uh, the fact that the DOJ is getting involved, the P Department of Justice, that's criminal. Like, that's a criminal investigation. It's not the SEC coming in and being like, oh, you'll just pay a fine. No, 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 no. If you get found for doing any wrongdoing, it's against, you're going to get, the, you're like, going to get in trouble with the federal government so watch out shorts you've been messing with the market for too long we've made enough noise that the department of justice is taking notice it's really really big oh i think the ducks have just arrived what is up people how are we doing those criminals yeah 100 percent Hear me out. Kept Robin Hood account open. Only bought hood puts at 21. Sue Ray. That's that is that is awesome. I love that. <laughs> only only buys puts on Robin Hood on Robin Hood's platform. That's hilarious. Anyone want to buy some feet picks? Uh no thanks. Buckle up, mods. Yeah, what's up, people? How are we doing? What's up to all the new people coming in here? Um we are watching Amy right now. It is selling off a little bit. We do have the low of the day at 26.63. Uh, it looks like we could be coming down to that right now. The spy is selling off. Um, everything's getting beaten down right now. I mean, again, with all the BS FUD that we've seen over the last like 48 hours and people just blowing things out of proportion. It's like a little bit of a perfect storm for the shorts this week. But again, we're coming into the time where it could be the perfect storm for retail. So... They can short it all they want right now. They're going to increase the short interest. Increase, I mean, days to cover today might come down a little bit with the volume that we've already seen, but crushing cost. Interesting. SV, the last two days you froze and I had to refresh, then subscribe again. What is going on with YouTube recently? They're like delayed on a bunch of stuff. They have wild. Oh, what's up, ducks? How are we doing, everybody? All right, spy coming down here. 
Spy is still green on the day. It is still trapped in this range. I mean, we did get the CPI data this morning, and it just started to rip. I mean, I don't know why the the market liked having 6.8% inflation, but I guess they did. Are you going to stream? Li- are you going to live stream the haircut tomorrow? I am not. Like, like, like. Thank you, TMI's box. Thumbs up for VIX. Yeah, if you guys don't mind, just dropping some likes on the stream. Just helps get some more people in here. Um, let's see. We don't really want Apple anymore. I don't really care. What do we want? Prague top right? I mean, Prague's probably getting hit today now. Yeah, Prague's getting hit again. Remember, Prague short interest. Estimated short interest ripped today. All right, new day low on AMC, 26 52 down 10, about 10%. About 10 right now. Make sure to save the hair clippings for the fanboys. That's that's gross. Not phase waiting to buy more AMC. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna make some plays today too. Might take a day off when Powell speaks Wednesday. I licked the like button. That is wild. SSR should hit here. I don't know. Let's let me see where SSR is. Or is SSR? SSR. Uh yeah. Oh, I, I mean it should have hit. Let me refresh. Yeah, SSR is now on. So 2651 was the trigger price on SSR, and we just hit it, and that was the low of the day. I mean, it doesn't do anything, but Prog short interest rip, but not AMC or GME. It's coming. Like, look, Prog, I mean, we were looking at it. Prog on the last month has just been like, hold on, what do we got for news here? Uh, DPW. Hold on one second. Prague's just been, ever since like early November, just down, 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 down. Now, we've, we saw the short interest start to come down. Then we started to see it kind of come back up. But even around here, it was still at like 10%. Now it's really starting to pick back up. Um, Utilization still up there. We're seeing the cost to borrow at decent levels as well. And I believe that we could easily start to see the same thing for AMC and GME. Like, if we start to see GME's estimated short interest start to go up, that's going to be super dangerous. Like, let's look at AMC's right now. Uh-oh, I might have another sneeze coming. Uh-oh. Like, AMC's 18.84. It has gone up from 15% to almost, like, over in around 19% recently. Now, let's take a look at GME and their trends over the last couple of months. So, GME's estimated short interest is 12.64 so it is up a decent amount what is it estimated short interest it's up 12 percent over the last couple of weeks now hold on s i want estimated short interest estimated short interest is a percentage of the free flow so ever since january when they mess with it it's kind of been on this weird downtrend now what was this right here may 19th came down now it's starting to bend back up so the low that we've seen is 8.8 now it's up to 12. If GMEs gets up to 16, 17 on the estimated, oh man, it is going to be absolutely violent. There's a lot of FUD in the chat. Relapes aren't phased by this price action. 100%. Who's putting out FUD? What is the FUD going on here? I don't see anything. I shot it on the like. Sorry, STV. You're good. Dow is dumping. Spy is dumping now, too. All right, screw it. We're making a spy play. Screw it. Where's TLT? Hold on, I want TLT up here. TLT is going to hit like 150. Um, It's coming up. I mean, Spy's bouncing a little here. Hold on. Let's see what the super trend's saying. Yeah, it looks like it wants to go. Do we? I don't know, man. It's just, it's just still so trapped in this range. Like, it's still green. It's still green on the day. <laughs> uh, screw it. We'll, we'll take a chance here. All right, let's see how it goes. Mess around with Spy for a little bit. All 
And this could be a chase, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll monitor it real closely. I'm not taking a big loss on this today. And it's bouncing a little here. It just looks so weak overall. Just, yeah, now it's bouncing. Let's see. What are we looking at over here? Yeah, hold on. No way. What's TLT doing? Hold on. Yeah, SSR is not doing anything for us. It's not going to help us at all. All right, I'm holding these. TLT still creeping up? Yeah, exactly. I think Spy's going to get hammered. Let's see what happens, though. All right, Amy coming down, down 10.63 right now. Can I translate my tweet for a smooth brain? Which one? Love you, Vix. Love you too, man. Which tweet? Yeah, TLT is saying fear. Nah, nah, it's coming. It's going to come. It's going to come down. I, I think I like this. Let's see. Uh, no way we're hitting 20. I'll bet a, a, a short time. DIJ too busy investigating parents angry at school board. What? What? All right, TLT getting a pop here. Watch Spy. This could get dirty. All right, Amy coming down, down about 11% right now. Spy is coming down. All right, let's see. We all know AMC is being shorted. Shorts haven't covered. Simple as that. When they cover, the price will skyrocket. Doesn't matter how low the shorts push it. I agree. All right. I think Spy is going to move down. TLT is getting a rip right now. It's by trying to balance, but no, I don't. I don't think this is coming up. Uh, do you think we'll be seeing the squeeze soon? I think we'll be seeing a decent run up soon. Oh, that one. Okay, so basically, it means we have really good perception skills, and the fact that we don't get tired makes us a feared opponent in any realm of whom human endeavor. So persp perspicacity is like perceptive ability. Into fatigability is like you don't get tired. Spy, get down there, you little hoe. All right. End of the year, Moderna call 260, too risky. I mean, what are they at right now? TLT rip, jeez. Moderna. Oh, that's not that bad. I mean, they're down 8% today. They could easily get a little bounce back. All right, let's see. Hold on. What do we have down here, GME? All righty. Hope you're feeling better today. I'm feeling a lot better today. No, TLT's going crazy right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Tesla coming back. I don't know. SV, where's all the news about the DOJ? I tweeted it out. It's a uh, Bloomberg article. I mean, Spy's almost leading TLT today. AMC is down 11.34 right now. Silverbacks feel no pain, 100%. No, Spy is weak. Dun, dun, dun. All right, I'm going to hold these for a little bit, see what happens. All right.
I can be very patient. I waited five years to get out of prison, waiting for AMC as a walk in the yard. My only job is to stay alive by holding AMC for ransom money. There you go, my man. So many double-digit percentage red days for Amy. Yeah, recently, yeah. What's Ortex data on AMC? Let's see. Oops, I just typed in. Yeah, it didn't load. Hold on. All right. AMC or tax data so far, 18.84% short interest. We're not seeing really any changes in the securities lending market today for Amy. Nothing changing. Hmm. <laughs> I want the bottom to drop out of SPY right now. TLT coming down. I don't know, man. Look at Cinemark down 2%. Exactly. This keeps happening. Cinemark is only down 2 and everything, like Amy and everything else just gets hammered. But it also has to do with like AMC specific news. How do I feel about what's happening today? I don't. I, I, it's. I've. Uh, we were. I was. I've been explaining this for a while. When they. When they smell blood in the water, they're going to attack. Adam Aaron with the NFT tweet, the selling of shares, which we already knew was happening, and then all of the division that we've been seeing about all of this NFT stuff, where people are trying to rush it, like they just smelled weakness, and they saw through all of their social media sentiment trackers that they knew that they could try and push us down and it would spread even more fear. No. All right. Why do you want Spy to drop? Well, right now I have puts on it because it just looks like it, it's super weak. And TLT is at a decent high. I'm like kind of chasing, but you know, whatever. I'll hold it. Screw it. Guys, the whole market is down. Don't get so shook. Yeah. Mm. All right. That's not fun. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Neither am I. Did I cut the call side of my strangle and let the put keep running? Yes, I did. And then I got some more puts, which are not doing well right now. And TLT is ripping in the, like, look at this. Five minute says it's coming down. 30 minute also says it wants to come down. On the one minute, though, it looks like it wants to come up. But we'll see. I'll hold this for a little while longer and see what happens. Who let the FUDs out? <laughs> That's funny. AMC, GME, same charts. We're back to games. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. No way. No, this is no. Well, that hurts. That's a tough one. With everything saying it wants to come down and then it just goes up. Nice. All right, let's see. All right, Amy is at 26.25, down almost 11% on the day. TLT is popping. GME is trying to get a move back up here as well. Spy still looks like it wants to come down. So let's see. Let's see what happens here. Boom, boom on Tesla. Interesting. What's Tesla doing? A little bit. Little bit on Tesla. Let's get GME back up here. GME. All right, people. Couldn't resist panic bought some more. There you go, Klein. There you go, buddy. At least the Bloomberg article is encouraging about DOJ investigation into short selling. Absolutely. I think it's a very good step in the right direction. I think it's a very good step in the right direction that we needed to see it for a while. Because remember, the SEC is just going to be able to give out fines. The DOJ is jail time. 
Any AMD calls? Nah. No, not right now. I mean, maybe. We'll see. Let's see. John, thank you so much for the super. This is why the phrase by the dip was invented. Yellow-bellied, paper-handed, baby back boys. Hodel. Interesting. I've never heard that one before. Hmm. <laughs> All righty, John, thank you so much for the super. I appreciate it, man. Are you buying at these levels? Yeah. Hold on. Let me see. What is this? Hold on. All right. 2641 right now. Looking for Spy to start to make that move to downside what do i need that well oh, that's going to be aggressive well we're holding it amd working overtime on semiconductors for the u.s are they ripping right now no they're struggling right now everything's struggling right now uh that bloomberg article uh, article will prove out uh be I'm not sure. I, if anything, it will come to the conclusion that no laws are broken. Kenny has big friends at the DOJ. It could, but at the same time, like that's it, it's it puts pressure on people, like lots of pressure on people. All right, GME coming down. Uh, AMC twenty six thirty seven spy moving up for literally no reason off of stupid inflation data right now. It's just flickering right now in that range. Should definitely have not have taken spy puts, but now I'm kind of trapped. Can you occasionally call out hood? Love hearing it go down. Yeah, I can. I can definitely do that. Hood. 2073. ACTV short interest is over a fourth. No. No, no, no. Two road shared trust. It's an ETF. No, I don't see anything on this one. All right. Jesus. Locked in the strangle at 467, got two on each side. Let's see what Spy does. That was probably a much better thing to do than what I just did. And I'm not happy about it. <laughs> it's all right. Let's see. They love giving us sales. They do. They really do. All right. Oh, man. All right. This needs to go. I think I need to get out of this. Man. Hold on. We'll see. This is, it's time to go. It's time to go. All right. That one hurt. That was a bad one. That was a chase right there, and that was a bad chase. That's not what we wanted to see out of that spy trade at all. But, you know, things happen. Amy down 10.71 to 26 30 right now let's see if we can get a little bit of a bounce up going into the end of the day here we go people a v c t okay what that's gotta be a glitch that has to be a glitch Estimated short interest, 4,400%. And the utilization isn't even at 100. That is drunk. Shorts have not covered. 100%, my man.
we have to sell or buy more. I'm nervous. Vic, why? We've been over this. So uh, it, the, the reason, the, the only reason why you're nervous is because you're seeing the price on the screen. But when you look at everything that's been going on, nothing changes. The short, this is like the same thing as like the best. It's a, it's just a giant bear trap. Um, we saw GameStop's earnings, which pushed AMC down. We saw Adam Aaron tweet about the NFT and the selling of the shares. And they're spreading this information like wildfire to try to scare people for literally no reason. Or, well, not literally no reason. The price is falling in my mind for oh, literally no reason. People are so very, very bullish. So when we think about what's going on here, nothing's changed. The shorts are just a attacking all out in full force today because think about it. Retail investors are not like they're not selling like they're, they're not selling enough to make this go down 11% in a day. Like that's craziness. <laughs> yeah, spy not doing anything. I am not touching spy anymore today. It's like touching a hot stove. That's how it just felt. That's by trade, touching a hot stove. All right, Amy down 10.926.25. Let's see. I'm only in the red 220K on AMC right now. Trey's mustache. Remember, though, what we saw earlier earlier this week. We just ripped. Uh, what's up, Wired? How you doing, buddy? Uh, I believe this whole week has been accumulation with the market makers. Think of it this way. Uh, they're collecting shares to sell people at a higher level. This is all part of the plan. It could be. Yeah, exactly. It's all FUD. As long as A keeps making progress and bettering the company, it doesn't. Uh, so it doesn't go under while we wait. I'm not worried about the price drop personally. Collective risk. Me too, my man. Well, Spy getting a decent pop here. Let's see it get reflected in Amy and oh, Hood's coming back up. That's not what we want. That's not what we want to see. SD, thanks for your knowledge and encouragement on the space call yesterday evening. Anytime. Anytime. All right, what do we want up here? How's Oracle doing? Struggling? Oh, no, they bounced. They bounced pretty good. If they're still questioning the play here, they're probably a bunch. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Ava. Oh, boy. I mean, I, I get getting worried about the price tanking, but you got to think about it from a larger perspective, uh, especially with what we have coming up in potentially January. Like, it's just getting it. Like, right now is the perfect storm for the shorts, and in a couple of weeks, it looks like we're setting up for a perfect storm for longs. So the perfect storm for the shorts is actually making the perfect storm for the longs even better. Short it. Go for it. You're going to increase the short interest days to cover utilization. You're going to put more pressure on yourselves. And we have that DOJ article coming out. So, I mean, have fun while you can is, is really it. I'm still 6% in the green hen hedges. What is this? Amateur hour? Yeah, there you go. Anyone looking at calls? This dip is looking tasty. It doesn't look bad. Uh, they're going to run out of ammunition. I mean, they still got a little ways to go left on utilization, but they haven't. it hasn't looked like they've used it yet, so they may not be able to get it. Shorts are covering. Don't be fooled. KM, no. That is just false. With volume today at $31 million so far, in the stock down 10%. If the shorts were to have covered any any decent portion of their position, the stock, you know what it would do? Rip. Like really rip. Like 10% plus rip because of all of that buying volume that needs to come in. Shorts aren't covering. What is that? How can you see the short interest go up and be like, they're covering? No, none of that. Can we get an Ortex update? Yeah, I can. Let's see. We got 18.84%. Nothing changing in the securities lending market really today. I mean, a lot of stuff is just getting delayed. I mean, it's not. there's nothing happening in, in the lending market right now. Not that we're seeing. Like, there definitely is. Let's see. You're down on March 42s. Would you get out of them now? I mean, if you think AMC is going to rally back up, 
from now until March, I would say no. If you think it's going to stay at this price until March, I would say yes, but it's up to you. I personally don't think AMC is going to stay this low for very long. Shills everywhere, hard to decipher sometimes. Yeah. Anyone who says shorts are covering has no clue about how the market works, but also make terrible math teachers. Yeah. Yeah. Overall market is struggling lately. Yeah, exactly. Like it, it's AVCT short interest is like 4,000%. The estimated, I think it's got to be a glitch. Um, yeah. The forecast calls for a steady stream of shills. Don't let them fool you. AMC ain't a dead cat, says Adrian. Yeah, 100%. All right. Spy trying to come back up. Black Friday sales at AMC. Hey, we've been seeing a lot of Black Black Friday sales. Um, also, when you think about what we have going on next week with the Fed meeting, well, we 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 know that we're going to see a lot of volatility based on that meeting because they want to increase the taper. Now, inflation at six point eight percent, they're probably going to have to speed it up a little bit more because they're going to say that the reason that they want to speed up the taper is because the economy is strong and they just want to get back to not just pumping the market, but it's because they want to stifle inflation. So the sooner that they can finalize the taper and be done with it, then they can get to the rate hike sooner. So that's what they're actually doing. And all of the large institutions know this. If the DOJ punished criminals like the SEC does, I'd give lucrative white collar crime a shot. Yeah. Off exchange volume is huge. It's always huge. Spy about to do what you wanted it to do before. A tank? No, it's not. I, I would have been down so much money if I held those. I mean, I still took a decent loss, which, whatever, I'll get it back. Going to free up more funds to average up. Haven't seen these prices in a minute. Yes, sir. Honestly, I might do that too. Actually, I think we're going to do that right now. Uh, Jazz Cabbage, thank you so much for the super. Spread that love and morale. Lots of apes don't understand the grueling fight we've got to go through uh, to win this. Yes, it will hurt, but hold strong, 100%. All right, here's what we're going to do. I think I get instant deposit if I want to buy shares. Transfers, deposit. Mm -hmm. All right. I think I can do this like right now. Yes, perfect. I think I can do it. Yes. Yes. All right. Here's what we got to do. All right. I'm about to buy the dip. All right. Where is it? Yeah, I'm, we're below my average right now, I believe. Yeah. Perfect. All right, cool. One, two, 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 All right, let's see. Hold on. Nope, more than that. Come on, come on, come on. Boop, boop, boop. All right, cool. Let's see. Hit that like, apes. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm about to buy the dip here. Let me see if it comes out a little bit. Actually, I might, I'm going to space this out a little bit. I'll do that right now. Boom. Nice. There's the first dip buy. Uh oh, sneeze. Uh oh. I'll be back. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. 
That was an aggressive sneeze. <laughs> Whoops. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh oh, I'll be back. Get well soon. No, I'm good. I'm chilling. We're good. All right. Well, did that lower my average like at all? Oh, cool. By like three cents. Nice. Yeah, that's exactly what just happened. Also, if you guys don't mind, just dropping some likes on the stream helps get some more people in here. Let's get let's try to get a little bit of a bounce here on Amy. Actually. Hmm. <laughs> Rip STV. I'm fine. I'm fine. Wow, those are actually holding up really nice. All right, people. Been sick all week, too. Yeah, there must be just something going around. He sneezed to jump. No, no. My nose just exploded. I hope you guys didn't see that because that would have been really embarrassing. Ooh, Oracle coming back up. Spy trying as well. Buy more every sneeze. Okay, we can do that. If you go to NYC, don't do what I did and fall for... <laughs> what dip did you buy the amc one the amy one amc cfo sold all his shares false incorrect he did not he still has a bunch more free charles Payne, 100 percent just dropped another 500 woo woo yeah, I just deposited some money. Is my chin messed up? There's nothing on my chin. What's wrong with my chin? Every time it says dip, you have to buy some. All right, dip, 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 dip. dip AMC, come back up. Come back up. After the dip buy on AMC, how many shares do you have now? I mean, well, I'm not, why do you guys care? I have, I have enough, um, but I always want more. Uh, like the stream and also uh, uh, linked on Twitter to help your social blade ranking. Interesting. I've never heard of that. Thank you. Um, let's see. Wired says, can you fill me in on the Charles Payne stuff? Yeah. So his Twitter is still there, but he can't get into it. Like he just can't get into his Twitter. I uh, Let's see. Oh my God, what is up with this FUD coming out today? What happened to Matt? Everyday live streaming AMC. Did he give up on the movement? No, he just streams in the morning and then comes back on for power hour. Um, yeah, wired. So he 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 can't get into his account. I'm trying to think about what I want to do right here. I do want to make a little bit of a move, a little YOLO. Wanna play some poker up at MGM Springfield today? I mean, I'm sick, and I have schoolwork to do. So <laughs> probably not today. I will be at Foxwoods, not this weekend, but next weekend. Let's see. Oh, it would be cool if we got this. Yeah, no, never mind. Uh, got a 1,000 shares at 30. There you go. That's like, I mean, that's a decent. I mean, we're moving back up now. I mean, I kind of want to do something else here. 12 settled. What are we looking at? All right, I'll do it when I go off. Uh, what's the news that the CFO didn't sell? No, he did sell, but he didn't sell a hundred percent of his shares. It's just look, it's the way it's set up. It looks it says like a hundred percent, but it's just a part of what's in the plan. Let's see. Not much borrowed share, so institutions probably selling. No, they're not. They're not. Why? They held the 77. They're the same. They're in the same boat as us. Why would they sell now? Um, again, it, they don't have to take out the shares on loan today to short them today. They could have had the shares for weeks and now they're just planning, uh, deciding to use them.
Is it possible AMC can go green today? Anything is possible with AMC. Like literally anything. We see the buyers come and step back in. I mean, I'm buying. I'm going to buy more throughout the day. SSR is useless. Yeah. Just like Gary Gensler. Nah, I don't think he's useless. I don't think so. All right, hold on. I got to set something up real quick. All right, I got to mute you people. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Let's see here. Check out Ford looking strong. Yeah. Any bets on Max Payne finish at 30 even today? Uh, what? I mean, the Max Payne was at 31. This is GME though, I think. Yeah. Yeah, still at 31. Amy coming back down. Uh, getting new dry powder on Monday. I need it now. I feel muted. You, I mean, it's got to happen sometimes. Sorry, 31. Yeah, I mean, we would have to really get going. That'd be like a uh, about a $5 move from where we're at right now. Is it possible? Oh, yes, it is. Or text doesn't seem right. You're correct. JP Morgan is pushing Palantir. Thoughts? I mean... I, I mean, it's a solid company long-term. I like them. Do what you know is right in your heart. Buy more AMC. SV, bring TMI on. Last time we went green. Uh, TMI is live right now. So we got a couple more minutes left here, and then we will filter you guys all over there. I tried to warm some folks on the space call the other night. They booted me for saying, God bless. I went back into another account and listened to them talk BS about the old. I don't, I mean, are you talking about AA? Last Friday, the day before, we did $4. Yeah, I think it was $4. Just dropped 2500 bucks. There you go, Patrick. I'll punch myself in the face for Max Payne. That is funny. Spy getting a move here. Come on, Amy. Let me see where my dip eye was. It had a bunch of decimals on it. Oh, different app. History. Oh, cool. Can I check Ortex? Yeah, I can. Uh, 18.79% estimated short interest. Let's see. Spy is getting a move back up here. Jeez, here it comes. Come on, let's move everything up now. GME, get some boom-boom candles. AMC, we're going to need to see some out of you, too. Spy is moving. Oracle, I don't really care about Oracle right now. How's Prog doing? Let's see. Last time it felt like this, I made a lot of money. That's all I'm saying. Ah... Uh... That's true. Amy, 26.75. Up decent on this dip buy right now. Uh, didn't the U.S. pension fund sell Berkshire? I mean, a pension fund. Uh, and bought AMC and Tilray last week. Are they still holding? I mean, they wouldn't. we wouldn't know. How much did it drop your average? Like five cents. Because I was right, it, we were right around my average anyway. I think the highest I bought at is like sixty four. I think that's the highest I bought. If January was just gamification, like the SEC report said, then if we stop being so smart, candy piled in the weekly calls. I mean, I don't know. Um, bears are in complete control until 3057. If stock gets over that number, 3184 will be tested, but must cross over that 3057. Yeah, I mean, we're getting a little action right here. Spy is really getting going right now. Jeez. 
hey, you know what I should have done? Just bought some spy calls on that dip instead of puts. That's what I should have done. My anger got the best of me. Bought a thousand more. Now I'm done. There you go, Norm. Spy is still moving. Spy is ripping right now. Like really going. Like that's a $2 move. Ryan, thank you so much for the super. Got some January 21 calls when we leg up. My son is going to have an awesome January 31st, sixth birthday. There you go. Me too, Vix. Highest I bought is in the 60s. Yeah, mine's in the 60s. I think it's it's either 62 or 64. I don't remember the exact numbers. Spy's ripping right now. Come on, Amy. Back above 27. Let's go. Get off your butt. Let's go for a run. We need to do some cardio. Uh, all right, guys. It is 1145. So it is time to wrap up the morning stream. We will be back on at 2 p.m. Eastern to watch the last two hours in some of the aftermarket today. Um, but TMI is live right now. So I will be spamming the link in chat. Mods, don't ban me for spamming. Um, so make sure you guys go over there. Say hi to TMI. And I will see you guys in a little bit. I'll probably go over there and hang out in the chat too. Um, I got to eat lunch, do some stuff. Oh, wait, I do have to do something right now. I do have to like do an assignment. So um, I will be back on a little while, little while, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thanks for coming on and hanging out with me this morning, guys. It was fun. Peace.